All right, guys, welcome back to another Steam Fruit Play walkthrough. Today we have Hotel Tutwin. So I just pulled an all nighter for my geography exam, and I figured now was the time to do the video for the day. Even though I don't always do a video every day, I'm doing one today. Look at that dude, he's got the moves, dude. Oh man. Uh, I think I'm the chick. Oh wow, that Yandere chick just like shanked her. <laughs> Oh man, this is like getting lit, I guess. Or is that me? Who am I? What am I? Bum, bum, bum. The animation's kind of cool, I guess. Views. In Castlevania, there's one main character. But we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. As I gaze upon Hotel Tutwin, a slow shiver crawls up my spine. I was on a walk with my best friend Kobe, but something drew me in. Neither of us can resist investigating now. That's weird. So, Penny, are you ready? I'm a chick. Oh, yeah, let's do it, boy. Wow, you're eager. I, uh, he acts like I'm about to steal his virginity. My gosh. I'm ready, too. He really does. And I'm sure this sword from my family's novelty shop will protect us from anything in that abandoned hotel. Oh yeah. Sword me. Well, let's do this. Yeah, we're doing it. Look at these numbers. I bet that's a puzzle. It don't doesn't seem abandoned at all. There are no cobwebs or rodents, and the lighting lighting shines dimly throughout the room. Ferdinand? I'm not Ferdinand. I'm Penny. <laughs> can't be. Anyway, fellow humans, I've been expecting you. This is the Ho Tutwin Hotel. I'm Ter. You gonna check in or what? Wait, this place is up and running? Since when? Let's just say a very long time. Why? Does the outside look too creepy for it to be open? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> of course not. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha! Is that so? Anyway, you guys want a room? Of course. Well, I guess since we're here, we might as well. How much is it anyway? All expenses are paid later. Eerie. Wow, this room is like monochromatic. Is that the word? What's monochromatic mean? But it sounds right. We wandered to our room for the night. So what do you think of our room? Pretty cheap and small, huh? It's romantic. Two separate beds. Gonna have to push them bad boys together. Huh? That's what you're commenting on, Penny Eye? Da da da. Da da da. Why you always gotta mess with me like that? We still into our beds for the night. We've always been best friends, so I feel safe by Kobe's side as I sleep. Wow, chickle, wow, wow, chickle, wow, wow. That was quick. What? Nani? What was that? A little girl? That was actually kind of bad. I'm glad. Oh, I'm so sleep deprived. That was scared me. I jumped to turn on the lights. There's no one here else here. Kobe sleeps, continues to sleep soundly in his bed. I'm probably seeing things. To be honest, I'm still a bit scared of this hotel. I have a strange feeling in my gut. Something doesn't seem right about this place. For now, I'll sleep it off. Screw that. I'll be waking Kobe's bitch ass up. Look at this realistic, scary looking place. Abruptly awaken to a loud noise. Knock, knock, knock. The alarm clock reads 7 o'clock a.m. exactly. Kobe does not stir. Wake his... Oh, he better wake up. I guess I'll get out of the bed to answer the door. Um, hi. Oh, is that me? I'm all chibiified. Oh, pardon me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kinzo, the manager, manager of this hotel. It is my pleasure to welcome you in person. Huh, oh, these jams are pretty lit, actually. Additionally, I have come to invite you to our daily hotel-wide breakfast event. Would you be interested in attending? Well, thanks and all, but we've barely woken up this morning. That will not do, that will not do at all. I see, we, well, we would love to have you. You change your mind. The banquet hall is in down the east quarter on the first floor. Pass the lobby. 
What is this I hear about a breakfast party? Oh, now you up? Wow, you got dressed fast. He never took his clothes off. Why would you turn that down that invitation from the manager? Or did he? What? I think we should go. Could be fun. Alright, fine. I'm pretty hungry after all. The banquet hall is spacious, brightly lit room. Its elegance contrasts greatly with the rundown exterior of the building. So, you didn't appear after all. Ah, ah, ah. I knew you would. Welcome. The buffet is across the far wall. Sit wherever you would like. And before you leave, see me and let me know how you enjoyed your experience. I nod at Kenzo and proceed to the buffet. I want to get to the food, but the bellboy is heading my way with a sly grin across his face. I already feel awkward. Fancy meeting you here, little damn. Ta ta ta. Oh, and uh, you, kid. <laughs> hey, kid, you don't even look older than me. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, Penny was it. Come to meet me by the juice bowl for a dance after you eat. Oh, we're dancing in the morning? I'm always in the mood for a good dance after a long night. Um, in case you didn't notice, she's with me. Ahaha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Backsy, aren't we? The, catch in, the question I'm asking next is... Are you really her boyfriend? Yeah, we definitely just banged last night, dog. Well, uh... N no Oh, he's crying. Hold on. Oh, it's alright. He's sensitive. You know what? I've had enough of this. Go with him if you want, Penny. I'll be outside the sliding door. I'm leaving without you if you're not here and there in ten. Ugh, I wish it didn't turn out like this. I hate petty drama. Uh, let's do the happy ending first. Chase after Kobe. I run after Kobe after he storms off, but I bump into someone else. Whoa, it's a thick glass. Ugh, pay more attention, you ugly little girl. You trying to catch my hands? You want to run my wands, chick? You don't know who you're messing with, so watch out. Um, I'm sorry. Well, better go talk to Kobe. Oh, this is pretty. Hey, Penny. I, uh, I'm sorry. He's still crying, dude. I overreacted back there. Heh. I just didn't want you to go with Terry because I'm awkward by myself. Yeah, that's it. And I'm tired. How about we go back to our room? We can take a nap since we didn't get to sleep in. Then we can leave this place. Dun dun dun. Knock knock knock. Whoa, that's loud. Who could it be? I go to open the door. Why, hello there, Penny. Elusive, aren't you? I like a good game of hard to get. Tarek lets himself in. All right, bro. This is, you need to get out of my room, dog. Oh no, not you again. What are you doing here? I'm here to steal your girl, sissy boy. There's nothing you can do about it either. Dang, he just flat out said it, bro. What? Penny is... Penny, tell him you're not interested. Fine. Go on, tell me what you really think. Leave me alone, creep. Get out of here, dog. Oh? Oh, he's sweating now. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll leave you be. For now. Door shuts. Can't stand that guy, Penny. Let's take a nap. I wanted to read my book, but I'd rather lay next to Kobe. Not to be weird, but he has such a peaceful sleeping face. In the night, a sound comes from the window. I barely have time to clutch my blanket before my mouth is covered by cold, lifeless hands. Help me! I can't breathe or speak. Someone! Anyone! Uh oh, I'm about to get... Wait, close and... What the... F that was too much. <laughs> I regain consciousness, but all I can see is blackness. Something breathes nearby. My eyes struggle to adjust as I feel the cold wind wood beneath my hands and knees. Uh... Bang on the door. I scramble to my feet. With my hands out as I move, I reach out what must be a door with no inner doorknob. I bang on it and yell for help. But to no avail, I slump to my knees. Somebody, please. Someone, please. Oh, I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm looking pretty dead. Lame? 
Go back to last choice. Did they really kill me for banging on the door? Yeah. Something breathes nearby. My eyes struggle to adjust. Okay, count in the corner, I guess. As I crawl into, is that really the right answer? As I crawl into a corner to hide it in a fetal position, I fill a piece of loose floorboard and rip it out until I'm holding a broken piece. Something's coming at me, so I have to act, stake that sucker. I thrust my arm forward. The floorboard sticks into something and a panic screech fills the room. Whatever it was seems to have back off and fell on the floor. I sit against the wall, my heart pounding. It feels as if 20 minutes pass. Finally, there's a noise. Someone must be unlocking the door. Dang, I got her. What'd you get? Is that what I just killed? Yeah, you just got got some. I'm Buffy the freaking vampire chick. Player. He's like, Nani? Tarek turns away and a room woman enters the bloody room. Oh, that wasn't her? My, my, what happened in here? Oh, excuse my manners. I know you, but you don't know me. I'm Detra, the true owner of this hotel. Seems I have been underestimated, you human. Bravo, we throw you in here to perish, but you... You become the Beast Slayer. <laughs> now since you've amused me so much, I'll give you a gift. A decision to sacrifice you is void, and you will now get to... Stake your punk butt? Wait, what is this? Detra grabs my arm. Uh, lesbian move. The arm that held the stake. Oh, he bit me? Was bitten. Dang it. She's shaking it. Shake waiting it. I'm awake. I feel different. This is not the good ending. Where am I? I'm closed in. The top pushes up. Oh, what the do not disturb. So you're finally awake. Dang it. Okay, yeah, I guess. Detra thinks you're dead, so you assumed I would kill you because of what you've done. What have I done? You mean killing that thing? That thing was my mother. Uh, not anymore. She she boned. Anyhow, I didn't kill you since she bit you. Your family. We were born from the same things. I'm not bending you either, because I know what that feels like. We're going to find a way out of this mess, so I hope you can keep saying Saying because of being a fresh vampire and all. Can I go back to see Kobe? I bet he's really worrying over me, and I hope he's safe. Well, the thing with that is, and now you've been trans in you've been in your transformation rest for almost three hours now, and things have happened. Detra told me she took care of him. What? Not only that, but now that my mother is dead, Detra has no leverage over me anymore. There's no reason for me to stay and work for her in this hotel. So I don't know what she's planning right now. Maybe it's some best if you and I lay low. We can't let her know you're alive. So you're still alive. What? There are footsteps outside the sweet room door. And I quickly look, jump into the makeshift coffin. Words. Coffin. Tarek shuts the lid. What a... Oh, he's here to save me. Prepare to die again, bellboy. Two hours prior, he must have killed that chick. Kobe rises from his nap. The hero. Uh, Henny, where are you? Oh god! Maybe she's just on a walk. Frantic knocking. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Good thing there's someone here. I just witnessed something truly awful. D d did something happen to you, ma'am? No, to someone else. It was sh a short girl with short, dark hair. I saw the bell bell at this hotel drinking her blood. I saw her die. So he didn't stake her. Dang it, dude. Penny, are you sure that's what you saw? I knew there was something off about him. But a real v -v -v vampire I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Gosh, I'm so scared. Hold on. I'm coming to check this out. Let me get my sword and, uh, something else from my dad's shop. Kobe runs into his room briefly. My, such a gullible kid. He'll he'll make a perfect pawn. <laughs> That's how vampires laugh if you didn't know. You've killed my friend, and I'm here to avenge her. Whoa, slow down there, dude. You don't know what you're saying. Then where is she, huh? Prove you don't didn't kill her and I'll let you live. Wait, I can't be hidden anymore. I jump out of the coffin. Please, Kobe, you don't know the true story. Whole story. 
Penny, but how? I'm not human anymore. No way, this can't be. Got a flintlock freaking double barrel pistol. What is that? Penny's been reborn. And she hasn't eaten at all yet. Looks like you're in for a treat. Hold on tight to your seats. You're in for a treat. I wait. This is a lot to process. This is like pretty cool. I like how it transitions. Toby, I don't know what to say. All I can think about is blood. I know. Blood. And you can have some. What? Are you sure? I don't support vampires, but seeing you stand before me like this is strange. But I can tell you're still in there. I know you won't kill me. Ah, uh, he offered. I gotta be nice about it, I guess. Look at that face of extreme pleasure. <laughs> Cody's blood warms me as I relish its in its taste. His body welcomes me, familiar in smell and form. I've known it for most of my prior life. I'm losing myself in Kobe. His love continually flowing into me. I become aware of what I'm doing, but I can't bring myself to pull away. Hey, he's crying again. Kobe, Kobe, open your eyes. Terry pulled me away from Kobe's body and into his embrace. Surprisingly comforting, despite the fact that I'm sobbing blood. Did I kill him? Oops. Eric effortlessly digs a hole while I struggle to get my thoughts together. How could I kill Kobe? Just what am I? And after he told me he knew I wouldn't kill him, I believed him. I wiped my bloody tears. <laughs> you're questioning these things only because you haven't been a vampire for long. Don't worry, you're still on the... You're still the same scaredy cat mom killer you were before, except stronger, more bloodthirsty, and immortal. Immortal. Talk as if any of this is okay. Why? Oh. Why? Nothing is funny here. What reason do you have to smile? Hey, at least it's not raining. It usually rains when I bury bodies. Can't believe this is my life now. You mean our life? A life after death is a lonely one. You wouldn't want to go it alone. <laughs> That's actually partly why I've been so attached to this stupid hotel. Sure, my mother was a reason, but not the only one. You see, a person needs the option to build lasting relationships with other people. That's why, even if nobody likes me, this hotel full of immortals helped keep me a little sane. And I'm sure deep down, Detra feels the same. Uh, why were you in the back life? Return the game. I don't know what just happened there. Wait a second, Detra is immortal? Everyone in this hotel is immortal? Sure, in a different way than you and I, but immortal nonetheless. I'm the only deadly bloodsucker here. What is she then? Once the hole is finished, I'll avert my eyes as Tarek lifts Kobe into it. I can't bear to look at what I've done. He begins shoveling the dirt back on top. Listen, I, uh, I didn't want to say anything about it, but I've seen Kobe's same sword and gun before. I knew his relative and he's identical to him. What? Really? Yes, this calls for story time. Not nah, story time. His name was Ferdinand. He was the first person Detra manipulated into taking me down. She always told me she does it to test me, but I feel like she thinks she feels threatened by me and wants me to die. You see, since I'm immune to her powers, I'm more difficult for her to control, but I'm not mad. I try to kill her in her sleep all the time. Anyway, Ferdinand was the only person to ever come close to killing me. He was very skilled and I thought my life was finally over, but he didn't end it. What? Did y'all become lovers? He saw right through me. He saw my terrified human side. And couldn't do it. Then something unexpected happened. We became friends. However, I knew it wouldn't last. Detra would never allow it. She was going to kill him, but he ignored my warnings. He refused to leave until he saved everyone in the hotel. The only way was to force him. Since I couldn't defeat him in a fair fight, I snuck up on him. I didn't want to drain him by biting him in the traditional way, so I gnawed off his leg. What? They dropped him outside the board. He took his whole leg? Once you leave, you cannot re-enter, so that was the last I saw Ferdinand. Whatever he is now, he definitely hates me. 
Yeah, I bet you took his whole leg, dog. You couldn't do some other thing? <laughs> Take like a toe or something? Well, burial's over now. Question is, what did we do next? Detra wants me to live by her side doing the killings, but now that I have a disciple, that's not possible anymore. Can we just run away? I bet there are plenty of places to go and we have forever, right? Oh, you would stay for, with me for that long? I did feed you to a rabid vampire and cause your friend's death. I clenched my fist. Kobe died because of me, and I don't know all the details pertaining to your mommy issues, but I understand the feeling of losing someone close to you. You didn't throw me in that room just because you wanted to. You had reasons. But it's not like I want this either. I would have fought you for my life if I could. But, now I don't have that choice. I'm new to this whole vampire thing, and I'm not doing it alone. Smart woman, barely into your first day of immortality and already thinking about the long haul. Don't go ahead of yourself, though. I still haven't finalized the plan. Two, I could always find another good-looking guy to bite and be with instead. <laughs> so you think I'm good-looking? No, I don't. Err, that's not what I... It was so was. And it seems you feel better already. Don't worry, as a vampire, some emotions can be fleeting. You'll get used to it. The sun's coming out soon. Let's get some rest. Alright. So whenever the night begins, the hotel maid comes to wake me so I can begin my belt boy shift and greet new guests. I have the habit of sleeping in. That's why today you have to sleep in the couch box with me. No, I'm good. Don't worry. You won't open the lid. She'll just knock on it. Wait for the response and leave. But sometimes she inspects the room beforehand, so that's why you have to be hidden. And soon as she leaves, you and I can start our night. There'll probably be a guest or two for us to drink. Wait, I have to get in that cramped thing with you? For tonight, confinement is the first step to freedom. Into the box we go. Into the box. Man, I'm, he's, I'm right in his armpit, dog. Can't move, he's too close. You better be wearing deodorant. Oh god, I'm blushing. Should I ask him to move over a bit? I'm ugh, I'm shy. I can feel your uneasiness. Yeah, your armpit's right in my face, dog. I'm good. I know you're not scared anymore because we're the same. You must be nervous because you want me. It's alright. You can taste my blood if you care. <laughs> <laughs> it's cramped in here. Ha, well there's no escaping. Too bad for you. Day goes by, but I can't sleep. A long wait before I finally hear a knock on the coffin, and we emerge soon afterwards. Good night, kinky vampire. Tonight I bring home sustenance. You can take care of the house while I'm at work. The fruit bowl needs washing, so get on it. I'm not your housewife. You live here, though, in my room with nothing else to do. I'll be back later. I, I'm not saying... <sighs> I'm not staying locked up here. I go to the window and jump out into the courtyard and then back, walk back into the building. I'm escaping. Haha! Footsteps sound from around the corner. I bump into a familiar face. What's up, dog? Penny, I thought, where did you come from? What do you think happened to me? Well, everyone thought you died. Oh, I've just been, you know, hiding, I guess. But I couldn't take it anymore. It's so boring. That's why I'm walking around. Okay, I have to say it. Why are you hanging out with Tarek? He forces me. Please, no more of this. I can't take the tragedy. I can help you. Please meet up with my friends and I. We can formulate a plan to keep you safe. At 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, sneak out just as you have today. Do not speak of this conversation. I appreciate the concern, but I can't do that. I beg of you, do not tread lightly on this matter. Allow me to enlighten you with my experience of over five decades of sharing a building with that man. The monster you call Tarek is a pathetic lapdog, shamelessly devouring his master's free food, drinking the blood of at least two humans at a time, sometimes even three. The rest of us are forced to stand by and watch this madness. We are slaves here, whereas Tarek resides at Tutwin by choice. I've seen him enter and exit the border at will, yet he cares not about the freedom of anyone else. Shall I go on? I've heard enough. Then you have nothing to say, anything to say in his defense? Tarek has secrets you don't know. 
Interesting, if you can explain away all the points I made, I might stop ignoring him when he begs for my attention like a pathetic puppy. Until my fangs pop out, my vision taints red. The rage boils from inside me. You don't deserve to be friends with terror! Kenzo seems a bit frightened. You're also a... I must be going. Now paperwork doesn't do itself. Ah, yeah. oh, Kenzo, wait! Oh no, what if he tells? We're screwed. Nice. We did it. Ew, Tarek isn't back yet. I go take a shower while I wait for him. As I walk to the bathroom, I hear a slight giggle, seemingly from a little boy. Hello, is someone there? The sounds of small, quick footsteps patter around the wood floor. I think it's coming from behind the red door. Could it be the ghost of Terry's mom? I walk toward it and open the door. Did I black out? I try to move, but there were ropes tied around, tied, tied tightly around me. I struggle, but it's no use. I'm stuck. The door creaks open. The devil thing. So you're the dangerous guest who's overstayed their welcome. You don't seem the slight bit dangerous. Slightest bit dangerous. Um, who are you? I'm a temp here. Now cooperate and I won't hurt you. The lock to the sweet door rattles. Stay quiet or else. The temp closes the door behind him. That's a him? Okay. Oh, Penny, I brought dinner. Hey, who are you? Wait, th is this a setup? When the door opens, a struggling Tarek is carried in by two matching children. They tie him up on the floor next to me. Uh oh, we've been kidnapped. Well, that one. <laughs> Lazy eye. Why are you people doing this? I demand an answer. Uh, what Tarek needs to say is, Miss and Mr. Uh, what are your names? I'm Penny. Maybe if I'm nice, I can persuade them to let us go. We're nameless until a devil names us. We have to prove ourselves to them by doing good work first. So you're doing this so Detra might adopt you. You're following her orders? She is our current employer. Now enough talk, she's on her way. The sound of hills on the wood floor intensify until Detra is inside. Ho 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 ho! Good work, kids! <laughs> now then, as for the traitor in the stowaway, I saw you in the graveyard last night. You must be punished. Let the judgment commence! Eric, you clearly did not take the chance I gave you to destroy your mother's killer. Instead, you hid her from me. Plotting behind my back, let's say you in your defense. I don't kill my own kind. You've grown soft. I sentence you to a month of starvation. You'll survive that without losing your marbles, just barely. Please, no. And as for the stowaway, the punishment is permanent death, meeting adjourned. Uh-oh. Wait, she didn't even get to say anything. You just can't. You can't just. Twins, bring me her ashes afterwards. We will dispose of them properly. Not another word from anyone. Detra makes her exit. Detra pushes the red door closed. All I do is scream directly after I get the sensation of leaving my own body. I swoop right off, off the floor and my limbs seem to separate. Ouch, I'm being hit or am I flailing into things? Flailing or flapping? Catch her! Catch her now! As soon as the demon boy talks, I know where he is, but not the other one. I have to keep moving. I'm so scared. I became a bad, I think. Experience a falling cessation. Hit the ground hard. I can feel my body again and it hurts. I thought vampires should be able to see in the dark, but I can't see a damn thing. I run to the wall and find the door. Oh, wow. Penny, you have to try those demons. I've never tasted anything like them before. What's going on? I don't know. I brought that girl home after her fake judgment with Detra, where she said I could have her. But I didn't know it was a setup. After they shut the door, you turn into a bat Started spazzing all over the room. Then out of nowhere, Raylo the maid started, showed up and started murking demons with her fist. I used the distraction to escape from my bondage and get on, get in on the action. Wait, I turned into a bat? Eric wipes the blood from his face. That's what you're confused about? What about Rilla? She's the badass maid here. But yes, I suppose you helped by transforming. I never do, do it though. It makes me feel lame and useless. Now don't you want demon blood? I saved one for you. You don't have to kill her, just drink. I look down at the demon girl who lays at the ground. 
glaring at me. She almost killed me, and I am thirsty. Oh yeah, I'm doing it if I get the choice. So, uh, Rella, how did you... How did... Don't you want to wash up? We have a bathroom. Nah. I'm good. You're so cool back there. You knew right when we were in danger. Wait, how did you know? I don't reveal my sources. Then why did you save us? I talked to Kenzo earlier and I thought you all... You did what, Penny? Was this while I was at work? You're not the boss of me! So what if I did leave the room earlier? I wasn't gonna stay cooped if it... in here all day staring at the wall. I'm an adult. If you really think that was a good idea, you could have gotten hurt. Not that I care or anything. You should just listen to me because I'm your elder. If you want respect, you have to earn it. By not acting stupid, being a vampire doesn't make you invincible. You care about me. Maybe in a sexual way. <laughs> okay, I guess not. To answer your question about why I helped, I know you guys aren't that bad. Tarek doesn't usually kill humans after he drinks their blood. I've seen him drag them out and over the dimensional wall while they're still unconscious. Gee, thanks for spoiling the fun, Rilla. I changed my mind about you being cool. Now that I saved you, you should follow my advice. Take pity and get out of here. The others and I think it's best for everyone if you're gone. You're in the way of our goals. Ah, oh, I didn't know that's how you all felt about me. If you were such, weren't such little bitches and told me a long time ago, it would have saved me all this time and effort. If it's any consolation, I wouldn't have lied to you if you asked. I will take my leave now, so I hope to see you never again. Penny, when you talked to Kenzo, what did he say about me? He called you a pathetic lapdog. Don't let it get you down. Forget them. They're all trapped here for eternity anyways. That's what... They got what they deserve. Haha, <laughs> wow, I had no idea you're so harsh. Listen, all that aside, I think we should split up from here on out. It's obvious that all I do is stress you out, and you're having difficulty being near me. Really, I never intended to make you feel that way. It's okay, Penny. You don't need to defend your character around me. We've been through a lot, and it's been fun. And if you want, we could jump in the coffin for a bit before we go. It'll be extra hot knowing we'll never see each other again. Screw up. The Juicy! Okay, er, I actually want to. Whoa, I didn't think you'd actually say yes. Let's get to it then. <laughs> so yeah, that happens. The end. Okay, that's one ending, I guess. We got to the Bang Vampire Dude ending. Hooray. Okay, so this time I tell him, hell no. You have some nerve to reject me while suggesting something so absurd. Well, at least I tried. Have a nice long life, blood sister. And so you probably have a nice long life. Ending number two, for me anyways. I don't really know the order of the endings, but ending number two for me. Oh crap. Oh, whatever. I can't let you sacrifice your blood for me. You were my best friend. I don't know, quite know, what I'm going to do with myself from here on out. But I need you to leave the hotel. Hey, wait. You guys don't know? What don't we know? Toby can't just leave the hotel by himself. Stop it, Tarek. You have to let him go. We're not eating him. No, he's right, Penny. I tried leaving to get more supplies before coming here. There's some invisible barrier I can't pass. I know a way around it, but the sun's coming up, so we have to stay here. Now I guess you have no choice to stay in your room until tomorrow night when we come we come get you. You never saw Penny here, you got that? Okay, I'll keep my weapons close. Kobe briefly glares at Tarek, then walks down the hall. You should have just eaten him. It would have been easier for all of us. I wasn't going to eat my best friend. Whatever. Well, it's time to turn in for the morning. We can clean this mess up this mess before my shift in the night. That is, if Kobe can take care of himself until then. Am I going to sleep on the floor again? That won't do. The maid lets herself in because wake me because I have a habit of sleeping in. You can't let anyone see you. Let's take some cushions and sleep in my mom's room. Oh, this is different. Don't worry. I cleaned up in there during your chant. She's buried and everything. Oh man, he's crying. Eric? 
morning, Tarek gets into his coffin and closes the lid. You awkwardly grab some pillows and go to your separate room. That's kind of sad. The cold wet wood of the scratched up coffin makes it difficult to rest, especially knowing that Kobe's out there in his room alone. Uh, try harder to sleep for now, I guess. After a long struggle to fall asleep, the sun finally descends again. All right, Penny. Time to go get that boy, I guess. You stay here. I'll go get him myself. Can't risk anyone seeing you walking around the hotel. Fine. Uh. Hey, I'm back, and I don't know what, how to tell you this, but that's just planning on killing Kobe tonight. Wonderful. What? Since neither of us defeated the other when she sent him to kill me, one of us has to die. But why? Dutcher does this all the time. She'd rather have a capable, controllable humor to do her dirty work than me, so some immune to her powers. So if she finds a human she thinks might defeat me, she sends them after me in hopes of having a replacement. You can't have two fighters on her hands, that won't kill one another. Because that's a threat to her power, especially since my mom's gone now and there's nothing to keep me in line. Let's save him then. You got me right. If we fight together, we can win. I don't understand why you go for such lengths for one human. Listen, that's your control spirit in humans. Basically my control. If we go, she'll make Kobe fight us. We can't kill someone we're supposed to be saving, so that's an automatic blast for us. Plus, you're an inexperienced vampire who hasn't eaten this. It's just not possible. I say we let him die. I'll go alone then. Crying is better than doing nothing. How can you be so stupid? Is Kobe really so important to you that you'll let him cloud your vision? You'll both die. We don't win. Don't do this. You're not my dad. Or my lover or anything. I don't even know who you think you are. You're not a good person. You're just shady. That's me. Well, it looks like you made your choice. Don't say I didn't warn you. Where is she keeping him? The dining hall. Oh, I think I'm gonna die here. I walk out the door. I'm determined to save Kobe or die trying. Why value a fake life when I'm dead? Hmm, this place is empty except for the kitchen life. Like, I walk toward the kitchen, crouch down. I know you don't want to be here, but it's for the best. Vampires lie and deceive every chance they get. All they want is blood. But when I asked Penny for blood earlier, she didn't want it. So she's freshly transformed. She knows she needs to learn how to how to drain someone dry. She just wants to keep you around as a constant source of blood, a blood factory. That's all you, you can be to a vampire. Are you sure you don't know a way out of the barrier? Only Tarek knows a way out. We're all trapped here in this big cage. It's too difficult to hold back from calling out. She's lying, Kobe. Where did you come from? Penny. You know who that is, right? Kill her before she kills you. I... I need to act fast. Don't listen to her. She's not telling the truth about anything. I will never use you. Draw a sword. You can't trick me anymore, vampire. I have to kill you for the good of humanity. Why can we add Kobe launch forwards and... Dazzle me. I look down, feel dull pain, and blackout. Nice. You killed me. Ark was right. Without hesitation, Tarek pulls down his shirt collar and pulls my head towards his neck. His blood is as refreshing as a lemonade on a summer day. He holds me close. I don't want to pull away. I make myself. You know, you're the first one to ever have my vampire blood. Now let me taste you. That's not a question. Uh, Tarek rushes my face with that. It is as he presses closer. I feel his lips on my neck before a rush. Chilling tingles enters my body. Through my neck, it's less painful than I thought, but intense nonetheless. We continue like this as the day passes, losing track of time. Suddenly, an abrupt knock from above fills the coffin. I'm waking up. Good night, King King Vampire. Tonight I bring home sustenance. You can take care of the house while I'm at work. The fruit bowl that eats the washing, so get on it. I'm not your housewife. Hi, I'm not staying up. Okay, this is like the same.
let's just make sure nothing changes. Yeah, some of these just don't have multiple endings, it would seem. Wait, what just happened? Uh, okay, we gotta go back. God dang it. Whatever. Alright. Uh, let's save. Where are you going with all this? You kiss me. Okay. Be mine. We could travel the world together and try new things. I've always wanted, wondered what exotic human tastes like. Well, this is sudden. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. That wasn't a question. And we get the happy ending for those two, I guess. It's an endless life and you wouldn't want to go it alone. I'm glad I have you to accompany me on this bloodstained journey. Okay, cool. Uh, back to title. Go to Kobe. Afraid of startling Kobe, I attempt to open his bedroom door as quietly as I can. However, it still creaks. Kobe sits up in his bed. P -p Penny, is that you? Yeah, it's only me. Sorry if I scared you. The sun's coming up. Shouldn't you be in a coffin? I guess I just wanted to see you. Oh, but you know we can't be together, right? You're a vampire now. But if I turn you... No, Penny, I couldn't eat humans for a living, no matter how much I want to be with you. I would never choose such a life, and I resent Terror for refusing to give you a choice of your own. I don't even know what I am. I'm having gnawing cravings, but I dread giving in to them. I think I'm the same person as before, but there's something wrong with me now. I can't keep living. You are the same, Penny, I can tell. You've always been special to me, and you've always made the right choices. You don't deserve this new life, and you don't have to take it, and honestly, I can't live without you. You look brainwashed. Let's check out this world together. It'll be as if you never change. Neither of us will be left behind. It'll be... Are we killing each other? Killing ourselves? It'll just be the two of us, you and me forever. Toby hands me his gun and removes a wooden stake from his bag. How long have you had that? What is this? I made it tonight. I thought if you agreed, it would be more painless than the sl silver. I love you, Penny. I always have. And I could tell that every step of the way, you thought of me the way I think of you. We choose, chose each other, and that's all that matters. What the heck? With my fingers slightly pressing on the trigger, I lean forward into the point of the stake. Our lips meet for the first time in the last. It ends here, in a, there, in a forever kiss. Nani? Was a double suicide. What? Uh, definitely not, I guess. No response, huh? Please go. Alright, alright, whatever the lady wants. See you later. Door shuts. I don't know what that was all about, but I'm going to take a nap. You do whatever. Oh. Fine, I guess. I'll just read then. Our separate activities carry on until sundown. There's nothing but awkward silence. Did I mention I hate awkward silence? I get up to wake Kobe from his long nap, but a noise comes from at the window. Tap, tap, tap. What's up, dog? Greetings, my lady. I could tell earlier that you wanted me, after all. How about you come with me to a land of enchantment? Well, here we are. You know what this looks like? A cemetery. You guessed it. A graveyard. Lying here are the bodies of the people I killed at this very hotel. There are over 30 bodies in this area. But we only have three gravestones. I wish we had more, just... But they're difficult to get without looking suspicious. Anywho... Now you know my true nature. What do you think? You won't kill me. Let me save. That's what I think. Let me save, dog. Wait, you aren't afraid? What, this, what do you think makes you so special? Huh. I think you like me. What if I was just to bait you? You're stronger than me. Why well, bait me when you can just take me? 
There's never any fun in that. You were different after all. I don't know how to react to someone who isn't scared. Kiss me. <laughs> What the? Debating. <laughs> nope, you're my prisoner. You don't tell me what to do, I tell you. Appreciate the offer though. Now follow me to my bedroom where I'm the one calling the shots. On the toe? This is my room, you like? Save again. Where's the bed? Oh, observing all of you. I sleep in the box under the couch cushions. How about you join me in the morning? It's so small. So you'd have to sleep close. <laughs> I have mysterious sexy stuff to go do now. I'll be back soon. Oh, and one more thing. Stay away from that side of the room with the big light door on it. Oh, where's mom is? Alone again. It's hard to sit still on the couch and listen to Terry's request. I can't stop thinking about the door he told me not to touch. Suddenly something almost resembling a voice comes from the said door. Oh, little girl, I know you're there. Looks like I'm gonna have to be stupid and check this out. I walk slowly towards the mysterious door. I try to open it, but it's locked. The key must be around here somewhere. Oh wow, it's a thing. Save? Oh, is this all my saves? Dang it. Okay, well, I guess we're not saving here. After lifting the bottom of the frame, I find the key. Wow, that was easy. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed. Too bad. No one's here to hear that pun. Dang. Oh, she got me. Oh, whoa, he made it. The monster meets eyes with terror. It pauses and slowly backs away, crawling back into his crypt. Dang, that was quick, Tarek. Now, what did I tell you about opening before? It was my only rule. What was that thing? That's my mother. It was the year of 1954. I was the coolest guy around. I had just graduated high school and life was looking up. Wait, that's you? <laughs> of course it is. Completely accurate, too. Just let me tell my story. Anyway, like any other 18-year-old, I was living at home while looking for a career and a place of my own. I was the only child. My mother is quite unconventional at the time. She was pregnant with me at the age of 16, outside of the sanctity of marriage. It's gone back right off, so she paired me alone. In the 50s, this was beyond unacceptable. She was judged heavily, but remained strong. We struggled every day to keep our heads above water, but she refused help daily, because of her appearance men often offered. All men are the same. After continuously struggling, struggling to rid herself of selfish and deceiving men, her heart slowly closed off until she depressed despised everyone looking her way. But one day, a particular suitor would come along and change everything. He was a vampire. His name was Anape. He was of pure Native American heritage and fluid in several languages, an intriguing man of a mysterious past. A mother caught his eye because he never caught hers. The cold, uncaring attitude she gave him was a rarity in his experiences. And Nape was persistent to gain my mother's trust. He was at her doorstep every night in the rain, snow, and the calm of every season. The more he learned of her situation, the more he admired my mother's strong yet genuine character. Weeks turned into months, and months turned into a year, but she hadn't wavered in her decision until one night in September. For the first time, instead of going out, she invited him to our house, into the house. I'm unsure about the details of the night, but when I returned from a party at 2 a.m., Anape was, had already gone. When I rose in the morning, I searched the house for mother, but she was nowhere to be found. I thought that maybe she left early, and it was no big deal. But she hadn't returned all day. I sat awake until night, waiting for her because I knew something wasn't quite right. That's when he, she appeared. My mother was wearing the same dress she had worn the day prior. And as she moseyed through the doorway as if she had just woken up. What's for breakfast, she asked. But I just stared at her, bewildered. To sleep in, until noon was one thing, but 9pm, that just wasn't right. Oh, it was 2am. I offered to take her to the hospital, but she refused. She became frustrated looking at me, and her facial expression 
neutralized as she walked forward. She bit me. It was a shocking sensation, the pierce of my mother's fangs. It could feel pricks over my entire body as I stood stunned, my system slowly shutting down. Nice. Forget how long I was out for, but all I remember is sheer nothingness. I no longer existed during my bloodless state. When I was reborn, the first sound I heard was sobbing of my mother. My boy, my own baby boy, what have I done? She cried. I killed my own son. I wasn't even aware of what I was doing. And Ape sat beside her, caressing her hair. Your boy is fine, Claudio. Look, he is rising now. Hmm. And Ape brought us humans to eat, but mother refused to kill anyone. Days passed and her condition worsened. The body became more corpse-like, yet she still wouldn't eat. And Ape had no choice but to give up on her. He handed me a gun and a pack of special bullets. He ordered me to use it when Mother got out of hand. That was the last time I've ever seen an Ape. <sighs> and so I waited, anticipating the moment I had to shoot my mother. When her transformation concluded, I couldn't shoot her. Instead, I kept her restrained, feeding her and hoping, but no one, no amount of blood could bring her back. When we could no longer stay in the house, I stumbled upon this very hotel where Detro had welcomed us in exchange for our murder services. To this day, when I look in the eyes of the soulless beast behind the door, I sight see the woman who raised me despite all judgment. Nice. I got his backstory. Quickly wipes away tears. So there you have it. Story of the ugly lady in the closet. Speaking of ugly, you look tired. Why don't you go to sleep on my couch? I don't have to sleep yet, so you can have the place for yourself for now, and you may want to shower. You know, seeing that woman attack you like that really put things in perspective for me. All these years of false hope haven't done anything for me. But you have. My mother would have never harmed a girl I brought, I brought home, and I truly ne really needed to wake up to this reality that she's gone. Thank you. I wish you could have met the real her. Well, I wasn't expecting any of that. Me neither. <laughs> Good morning, human slave. You must accompany me to breakfast. That's my date. To me, this is kind of like a dinner date, but with breakfast food. That's why it makes sense to me to have a dance at breakfast. Anyway, come along now. You don't have a choice. Rolls eyes. Ah, a proper introductory moment. Penny, this is Detra. Detra, this is my slave, Penny. Canceled the judgment last night. Do you love her? What? No, you didn't. You hear me? She's just my slave. Jeez, you never let me have any fun before a judgment. Don't forget our deal, vampire. The judgment is mandatory. I must reveal my decision about this human tonight. I don't think you can keep her. Hey, what's this judgment you two are talking about? Don't worry about it. It has nothing to do with you. Sounds like it has to do with me. He said there's some decision about me. I'm not gonna let this go until you tell me what it means. Okay, okay, I'll tell you after breakfast. Don't freak out on me when I do. Hey, wanna meet my friends? They're sitting right over there. Hey, guys. Guys, look, I brought a date. Ain't she cute? Hey, you look over here. Three people at the table remain silent and vert their eyes towards their plate. They're just shy, like all the time, even to me. Can I save? Of course not. There's something on my face? Huh? No, why? Uh, I just thought that maybe... Why they're ignoring us. <laughs> ignoring us, right. You haven't even eaten yet. So what could possibly be on your face? It's just a saying. The two of us sit alone at a table to eat breakfast with, of course, an awkward silence. Tarek doesn't eat, he's just watching me. If I could see Kobe right now, I'd tell him to tell my parents that I love them. Okay. So, uh, here we are. Guess I have to tell you now. I'll just spit it out. Every human who enters the hotel has to have judgment. Basically, excuse me, basically consists of Dutch deciding whether they have a use in the hotel. If they do, they get to make a wish that gets granted, but if Dutcher says no, they die by my hand. Simple, right? Wait, what? Right, Dutcher is a bitch for making me do this already. I'm not done with you yet. There's a chance I don't have to die, right? Maybe I just have to prove to Dutcher that I can contribute somehow. Forget that. 
Not what you think. If worse comes to worse, I have a plan. What's that? I'll turn you, of course. Detra can't interfere with vampirism, and you just have to trust me on this one. It's the only way out. I don't think I like this. Anyway, I'm tired, so I'll be getting into my couch box. All you can do now is wait your loss of humanity. Just read yourself, okay? Good day. Reed, who is he kidding? I'm busting out of here. I need to find Kobe. I bet he's where he's sick. Slave, the key is up. My damn it. What? Well, that was the only exit. I guess I'll try to take a nap. I ought to be well rested for tonight if I want a chance to escape. I'll move the cushions to the floor and lay down. Okay. Look who's sleeping on the floor. Next time, just crawl into my box with me. I won't mind. So, you ready to meet your ultimate fate? I've been sleeping for that long? You are aware? It's judgment time. Wow, you must have been tired. Well, let's go. Okay, we're going. The dining hall kitchen? Yeah, don't you know this is the most dramatic setting in the hotel? Let's get on with this now, vampire. I know you don't want to kill this human. What ridiculous killing is my thing, remember? You really think I'm that stupid? That's why I'm going to offer you something. You don't want to pass up. Detra reaches into her bra. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. It's now really the time you can't do this to me in front of Penny. Imbecile. Detra pulls out a small vial. This, this is what you cannot pass up. It will turn you human again. Don't you long to see daylight grow into a real man? But you don't, don't you need me as in for killing? This hotel only needs one vampire. Don't you think body is more than capable? What do you say? Do we have a deal? I hate the same character. Tarek takes a vial from Dextra. Aha, I knew you'd make the right choice. The human stays here to complete the judgment. So you're free to go. Just drink the serums once you're out of the hotel borders. Penny's coming with me. Wait, what? Are you sure about this? I'll never allow you to see your mother again. I learned a valuable lesson in my time with Penny. It said I have to let my mother gone. go. She's been gone. Come on, Penny. Tarek hoists me up onto his back to take off, and sense of terror inflicts me, but it fades away as I'm taken out, I'm taken out of Detra's field of vision. Tarek grabs a vine and swings high into the trees, like Tarzan, landing further away from the hotel. We made it. Huzzah. We did it. We're outside the hotel borders now, and there's nothing she can do. Also, I think I'm ready to be human again. When I do this, will you stay with me? I'll have nowhere to go, so we can run away anywhere. I had wanted to control the hotel, but all that seems meaningless now that I can be human again. Plus, I have plenty of money saved up from hundreds of years of corpse pockets. <laughs> yeah? Aw oh, yeah, and in the end I get the girl. Score. Go up down the hatch. Eric calls up to the serum and gulps it down. Wow. My human transformation music. Ha <laughs> ha look what you've actually done. And after your heartfelt words back there, I almost let you escape. Detra, what's happening to Tark? Well, I knew Tark wouldn't let you finish the judgment. I couldn't let him turn you and threaten my power, so I thought, what's more enticing? The vampire then thought of becoming human again. What a hoe. Decided to use that to get what I wanted. Fortunately, you two left the hotel together. My plan succeeded and Tark behaved. I wouldn't have lost some power due to assaulting borders. But anywho, that vial is actually filled with special vampire binding spell. Tarek is now forced to obey my commands for all of eternity as my loyal undead slave. The perfect way to ensure he's always mine and not yours. What a dick. Now be gone, you ugly little girl. Whatever. Peace. And with a snap of Detra's finger and its members vanish without it, the hotel and me members vanish without a trace, you can hear the woman's voice fade into the distance. <laughs> Until you are alone. Eric, Kobe, I didn't even get to say goodbye. Dang it. I seem to dislike you. Haha, <laughs> good one, Penny. That's why I like you. You have such a bold, sarcastic sense of humor. As if friends could dislike friends. Now, shall we make a plate? I can tell you're hungry. I'm not making a joke. Wow, such brutal honesty. To tell you the truth, maybe you're right. 
I just wish they would like me. Oh, that's kind of sad. But what vampire needs friends anyways? We're too aloof and serious to let people know us. Yeah, that's exactly how I describe you. As I eat, I can't help thinking, maybe this guy isn't so bad after all, he's a vampire, but what does that really mean anyways? Even so, I wonder what Kobe's up to. I one hope he doesn't think I dish him willingly. So, uh, here we are. I guess we have to tell you about it now. Now I tell him it's a trap. Got it. The dang diggity trap. Huh? How do you figure? He wants to dissuade you from your original plan. I think, Tarek. You really think she'd be able to give your human soul back, undo a death transformation? Now that you mention it, something similar to this has happened before with Aniko. You're right, Penny. This bitch is lying to me. Impossible! I may have underestimated you, human girl. Listen, Detra. Turning her will barely, barely affect you. I'll even stay in the border. Don't follow us or fight. Eric takes my hand and runs at me. To the dining hall porch. So here we are. You ready to live out your existence in a much longer than comfortable time frame and mercilessly hunt your prior species as food? Hell yeah, dog. What kind of supernatural teen romance would this be if I didn't, right? Aw oh, yeah, get over here. You're all mine now, little lamb. Dang, she had his legs wrapped around and everything. That's not PG. Penny! That's right, mortal. This is your precious crush. It took you too long to find us, and now she's dead. How does it make you feel to know you couldn't save her? You're right, I couldn't save her, but I can venture her. I'm more skilled than you may think, so fight me, monster. You wonder not want to ruin the fine china in there. So let's take this to a bit more spacious outdoors. Tarek falls backwards into the balcony into his graveyard below. Boy, do I love a good fight, especially after a nice filling meal. You bastard, Penny will never be happy with you. Are you saying you'd rather her be a lone vampire than with me? No, I mean, yes, I mean, not even at her anymore, she's gone. Toby draws a sword, stabbing your heart. With this should do, it's wood coated with silver, handmade by my grandfather for this purpose. Toby lands forward with a slash, Terry dodges but quickly realizes he's underestimated, and Kobe cuts his arm. The fighting technique is so familiar, and that sword is just like it was years ago. I can't do this again, he's better fighter than me. As Terry continues to dodge, he glances over the transforming body on the ground. He'll probably kill her for good if I flee. Any vampire hating human would. I risk my life to save her. Carrick thinks back on our time together since the rival had cut one. I just wanted this girl to get ahead of Detra, but it's been fun to know her after all. It really makes my heart race. She's such a badass. I can't give up now. Carrick finds it easier to fight back when there's something he's fighting for. He tackles Kobe and digs his snails into his chest. I could tear you to pieces right now, kid, but I'll spare you because Penny. Needs something to feed off and when she awakens. No, please, I don't want to die. The real Penny would hate you if you fed me to Monster Penny. What? <laughs> Nani? Oh, I'm awake and I hear voices. They're a few feet away, Tarek. There you are, little lamb. Welcome to vampirism. I have a nice meal prepared. Prepared a nice meal for you, so come get it. I crawl forward ready to eat, but Kobe's being held down in front of me. He's not food, is he? Tarek releases Kobe from his grasp. Don't think of trying anything, kid. It's two vampires against one human. Toby sits up, glaring at me. Don't come any closer, monster. I saw Penny die. You're not her. Kid is getting on my nerves, so I can't wait to watch him die. Show me him what you're made of. Toby's unwilling face makes me hesitate, but I still can't resist the urge to drink his blood. Get him out of here, Tarek. What? You just want to give up your food like that? He's not food. He's my best friend. But clearly not anymore. Now get him away from me before I buy him. I guess if it makes you happy, I'll let your first kill be somebody you don't know. That'll probably be easier. Derek lifts Kobe and runs to the nearby vine. He jumps in onto it, swinging high up, and disappears as if by magic. In less than 30 seconds, he returns without Kobe. Whoa, how did you do that? Where did you go? 
outside the hotel borders of course what you see in here is the world outside is different than what it actually is and vice versa that's why most people are unaware of it even existing and how did kobe just walk right in well this hotel is a subdimension owned and controlled by detra herself he has the power to out entice outsiders in small groups saying on what you want mainly why I've become subservient to Detro for years. Mom and I camp frequently and discreetly without much work. I'm not trapped here like everyone else. I come and go when I please. Our next bill should be arriving soon, but I've snagged you a little something for the meantime. Tarek reveals a blood fills syringes. Kobe's blood. I couldn't let him get away that easy. I eyed the syringe to snatch it. I didn't twist the top and pour it down my throat. The most fulfilling snack I've had in somewhat Seems like ages. Tarek, you fool! How dare you turn this human and let us soul out of the barrier? That powerful soul was mine and I was using it. You're not getting an next meal. Oh, is that right? Because what I can conclude from this is that you've lost power while I've gained two deadly vampires and one weakened devil. Who needs other more? You were using Kobe to find me, weren't you? You were scared of this all along. And once you learned of his skill, that plan was foolproof, or so you thought. You, this can't be. I knew it's what you wanted, but there are no more tricks up my sleeve. You usually manage to keep me under control and obedient, but this time it's different. I've outsmarted you for once. How does that make you feel? I have no reason to feel anymore. You've overthrown me and gained an appearance. Now finish me off. What? But drinking your blood is impossible. I've been tried while you were sleeping. Something always prevents me from falling through. Foolish vampire, we've been playing a power game all along. You cannot cheat a game with the devil as you, you cannot break a deal. The reward is my legendary blood, now take it. Aw oh, yeah, give me. This is a trap. Eric tackles Detra and bites her until she withers away. I wish I could have some of that rare blood, but I feel awkward joining in. I can't help but think I'm merely a pawn in this game, not a player. What? Detra's power! Irene. Well, no more Detra, and I'm sorry I can, you can have some. Don't worry. But worry not. I will have your next meal delivered very shortly. We can roll this hoe together and live in style. Wait. You were using me all this time to win this power game as well? Weren't you? That's why you turned me and made sure I was on your side. Yes, you could say I used you the way I knew Detra would use Kobe. Can't believe it. I turn around and begin to walk a way to hide my feelings of disappointment. Oh goodness. Wait, don't go. I was always planning on defeating Detra and taking this hotel as my home. But along the way, something made me forget about the decades I've spent alone, hiding away from the world and serving a devil for scraps. That something is you. I've never been nothing but a monster for most of my life, but you're not afraid of me and are able to speak your mind. I've lost my human-like emotions over time, using humor and flirtation as a facade, but you've brought them back. You make me feel again. Yes, at first I was using you, but in the end, I've realized you're more important to me than winning. But I don't deserve you. I wouldn't understand if you left me behind right now, and if you do, remember me as a changed vampire. That won't be necessary. I've already so grown fond of you. Dang, we get two happy endings with this dude? Day after your meal, we can go to my room and get busy. Hell, we can't even do it out here. No one else will see. Well, he's back to his old self again. Haha, <laughs> but seriously, I have a plan for the future of this hotel and for us powerful immortals. We did it. <laughs> Shortly following the defeat of Detra, the devil, the two overthrowers called Hotel Tut when their personal mansion set free the prison and severe, severed the toxic relationship. This was a popular supernatural teen romance story. They would take up a diet of animals and live as vegan vampires to suit the moral needs of lowly humans. The human burgers are too good. Huzzah. Back away slowly. That's right, cower in fear. However fast you run, you cannot escape me. I turn in the other direction and scramble away, but the footsteps behind me remain consistent, as if he's letting me get a head start. Okay, now we get to do the other thing that probably has a bunch of branching things as well. Huzzah. But we should learn more. 
I haven't really got any other relationships between the besides the vampire guy and killing myself with Colby. That's about it. Take a breather by myself. Sick of all this drama, Kobe can come find me when he wants to be rational, but I'm not chasing him. I walk to the banquet hall exit. Hello there, pretty. Leaving so soon? Yeah, my experience wasn't so great. Keep your bellboy under control or fire him. Fire him? That's my feedback for you. Haha, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your day. Guess I'll just sit on the bed and read a book until Kobe comes back. Still waiting. It's been nearly two hours. It's not like him to ditch me. He must have really left when he said I'll go too. I made my way down the hall and soon a familiar run into a familiar face. Oh hello, on your way out. Can't let you leave without making your payment. I very good, right this way, miss. Uh oh. Please sit in front of my desk. Care to take answer a questionnaire with me? Someone knocks on the door and opens it. What's going on in here? Oh, have you two been properly introduced? Penny, this is Detra. She owns the Tutwin Hotel. I saw this girl at the breakfast party. Keep her here until sundown. I've already decided how her debt will be paid. What? You haven't even spoken with me yet. Detra exits through the office door, ignoring me completely. How rude. Wait, sundown? But what about my friend? Didn't he leave? I'm sorry about this. Kenzo exits the office, locking the door behind him. Well, great. I think I'm going to die tonight, unless I can find a way out. Here we save. Er. A notebook sits on the edge of the desk. Catch my eye. I need to see what's inside. Wait, not flip, flip open a random page that reads. Day 7,533 at the top when men and women alike seem to be increasingly arriving in these strange pants with all kinds of patterns and colors. Russian fashion fascinates me. And it's what a weird thing to write about. I flip to another page. Day 14,969 at the top one. I haven't written in here in years, but today is a special day. We just hired a chef. I used to hope nobody would get hired here again, but... I'm excited to see a new variety of food from such a passionate young lady. Hmm, I was hoping to read something interesting or helpful, but this... I guess this is just a journal. I'll keep looking around. Let's look at this cabinet. The cabinet is a good place to look. When I open it up, I see a huge pile of crossword puzzle books, and they all look used. Who has this much time on their hands? In movies and shows, people always hide things about among the books on a shelf. Maybe I'll find something up here. I'll reach my arms, but... Up, but I can barely read. Come on, books. I start to jump, but a voice starts me. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Why? Who are you? Where did you come from? You're the wall of course. I'm Aniko, and I need your help. Through the wall. <laughs> Kenzo's my brother. Please save him. He's being controlled. Listen, kid. I don't know who you are or what's going on, but I need to get out of here. I'll help you out of this office if you agree to save him. I guess that sounds better than dying. Good. Now, brother is a really cautious person, so he has a secret exit to the room. It's behind the bookshelf. What a classic place for it to be. Right this way, miss. We're heading into the dungeon of Wing A. Save again. What happens at sundown? The vampires come out. Now will you focus? You're on a mission. That's a serious answer. And he, as we walk, three figures turn a corner to face us. Oh, it's a cook. Beyond air chick. Onik. Oh god, you let the prisoner. I have a name, you know. The chef girl pulls Onik onto a hug. Ah, Kinkin! Your sister's so cute, devious little thing. Why do you keep doing this, Aniko? This isn't the, even the first time. I can't explain it to you because you can't process it. None of you can. Try me. Watch this, Penny. Brother, I'm taking her to the dungeon of Wing A to save you.
Kenzo and his friends stand still for 10 seconds as if paralyzed. They then blink can take a, he a heavy breath. Monica, I can't let you take this girl out of the office. Not only because I don't know where you're going, but mostly because Dexter gave me specific orders to keep her there. Aw, oh, come on, Kin Kin, lighten up a little. Anako doesn't ever get to talk to anyone but us. Let her play with the prey. You can, can't keep this little cutie cooped up forever. Right, right, right? Isolation can have a negative effect on humans. I know you feel it, Kenzo. Don't you want... Do you want to subject your sister to that? No, of course. I wish her to have more friends. <sighs> I, I guess you can go somewhere for just a little while. Make sure you're back. She's back in the office before dawn. Oh, Anako, you should try torturing her. That's always fun. See you later, cutie. What the heck? Nice. Kenzo, Sienna, and Rella continue to walk down the hall. What is that all about? Why didn't they just listen to when you said where we were going? Detra used to fear. Detra used to block. Use fear to block out their comprehension of that dungeon. That's her main power, to control fear. Did it so they can't get their souls back to themselves. How did she take them? Enough questions. Come on, we're running out of time. Okay. This is as far as I'll go. Take these stairs down with you. Down to the dungeon. I would recommend avoiding the elevator. Why can't you go down there with me? My soul might get stuck with the others because I don't have a physical body. I'm not sure if it works like that, but I'd rather be safe. Don't die down there, okay? I really want this to finally work. Oh, well, that's reassuring. I'll walk to the stairwell. See you later, I hope. Crap, it's dark down here. How am I ever gonna... Whoa, he's got a sword. Uh, Kobe, what are you doing down here? Kenny, I was waiting for you. Uh-oh. Wait, how did you know I was coming down here? I told you to wait. I told you to meet me outside at breakfast. But you ditched me. Eh, here's the oh, eye. Why, you bitch? Oh, wow, you finally grew a pair. And you became an asshole. Just looking at you brings me pain. Die! Oh, wait, there's the real film. What just happened? Heh, <laughs> well, that was kind of awkward. Could could Kobe? Second Kobe, what? I think this place is supposed to instill fear to prevent us from reaching the souls because it's been showing me why we're spears. Funny, it's actually making me more confident in my weapon wielding. When I first got here, I slayed a spider. <laughs> nice. Shh, a spider? That's what you're afraid of? There's a big spider. <laughs> okay, the size like the size of a car or a house. Okay, whatever you say. How did you end up down here anyway? morning when I was about to leave the banquet hall, the chef stopped me. She was upset that I was leaving without trying the food she prepared. I told her I wasn't in the mood, but somehow she convinced me, and sure enough, it was delicious. She was pretty cute, too. Her name is Sienna. So when I finally got to leaving, this little girl with a purple corner told me that Sienna is trapped in the hotel and told me I could save her by coming out. I thought, why not, right? It'd be the perfect activity to get my mind off of oh, you. For all I know, you ran off of that bellboy. <laughs> Save. I'm so sorry, Kobe. Alright, my emotions can be unreasonable at sometimes. At least these events led us here, where we can solve bigger problems. You'll always be my good friend. I just got friends on. It's not like I'd kill you with my sword like that other me was about to do. I'm flattered that you're here, but it'd take a lot more for me to get to that point. Or not that I could, you did. Not that I ever could or anything like that. Uh, how about we get to that room over there? It looks pretty promising. You mean the only other room down here? Gas, what an idea. Let's go. Wow, this room is not what I was expecting. It's a lot weirder. Oh, uh, wait, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Indeed, I am. But that is not all what I was expecting either. Do you think they might be... Souls? That's a likely possibility, yes. That's really messed up, but I guess we have to... Take them with us. Okay. We did it. You actually return? Oh, I mean, took you long enough, so do you have the souls? 
Uh, well done, then, uh... Potentially, if we did find them, how would we go about reapplying them to the people they go to? Well, I guess we try to put them back inside them somehow. Or maybe when they're near, they just get sucked into their mouths like a trans stream of uh, a stream of translucent air or something. <laughs> I see. Wow, look at this. Both of my the guests are here, and I couldn't help but overhear this talk about souls. What's that about? Oh, hi, brother. You're just in time. Penny and Kobe may have found a way to save you and your friends. Wait, what? You say these two did in a matter of a day? What all of us have failed to do for decades? Heh, <laughs> that's preposterous. Hey, what do you mean? Your sister knew all along how to do it, but you wouldn't listen. Aniko, I think I, her brother, would know better than you about what she knows. But even with proof, none of this matters anyway. Soul or no soul. Can't leave you behind, my little sister. Aw. But brother, you have to. You can't stay here forever. There's a way for you. I know that if there's a way for me, you'd want me to take it. Maybe there is a way for Aniko. She's here. She must have unfinished business, right? If that gets fulfilled, maybe she can move on. I don't think that's very likely. Aniko wasn't always here. She was brought back by Detra in exchange for my soul. But I... Because I couldn't let go. However, I thought her life would be fully restored. Not a... Ghost bound to this awful place. I let devil trickery get the best of me. But it's worth a shot, right? Wouldn't you just... Would you rather just give up? No, let's do this. How do we begin? Well, do you remember the day she died? Yes, very much so. I've never talked about this before, but I guess there's no other way. It's my 21st birthday, of course. I had nothing planned but work. When my day duties were complete, I was on my way out. That's when I saw her. She had fallen from the roof. Fallen from the roof? Your birthday? You remember something? My brother's birthday. I bet he'll love what I made for him. I have to see his face when I give it to him. I hope it makes him happy. Hey guys! Deanna Rella, run from the other side of the hall. Everyone meets halfway. Hey guys, what you talking about? Let me in on the action. <laughs> Hi Kobe. Uh, well, we were just figuring out how to set Eniko free. Interesting. What gift Eniko was going to give Kenzo was her unfinished business. It's not unfinished. I made it perfect. I just don't know where it is. Then we have no choice. Let's split up to find it. Great idea. I promise I'll do my best. Can you all do that for me? I called Kobe as my partner. Well, let's pick first for once. He's gonna die. Well, if we're picking the team, really the coolest one. Not your own brother? I, of course not. Well, I guess that leaves me with you, Penny. Sure, why not? At least you're hot. <laughs> what? You must be mistaken. No one's ever called you hot. Mm -hmm. You're so flirtatious. Obviously not it. I just didn't expect it. Come, Aniko. We should be searching now. Here we go. Let's go to Sienna. Hey, he's crying again. Ah, oh, just when it was getting interesting. Call me Cece, by the way. Cece's pizza. Let's just focus on the task. Why are we in front of your office? You escaped. You left the bookshelf wide open. Now I must fix it. I'll stand out here. That's understandable. We still have time before sundown. Now, show, where shall we go? The team up here. Well, I guess maybe the courtyard, Aniko. Probably pass through there to give you your present. Plus, there's so much vegetation that it could be hiding it. It's gotta be hitting well for you not to notice it all these years. You're right. Nobody really maintains the garden enough to notice the fine details. It just exists alone somehow. Well, I'll lead the way. Wait a second, is that? 
can't help but overhear a distant conversation. So you think the present might be around here? You're cute. Be my boyfriend. He's dead. Huh? That was really sudden. Oh look, it's Kid Ken and that girl. Hey Penny, we were just looking for that present for Annika. I guess splitting up just led us to the same place after all. Then Kobe and I became an official couple. He's all mine. No, no, no touchy, you hear? Hey, hey, I don't remember agreeing to this. <laughs> what a funny joke, dude. Yeah, she's Yandere's crap. Oh, it's just like, you know. Have you two made any progress? Penny is running out of time. This one you care about, Penny. You wanted her locked up earlier. You don't know me at all, even after all these decades. I don't follow debtors or orders because I want to. Wow, don't get so offended. Other than the deal with your dead sister, we're in the same boat. Come on, Kobe, let's have go have some better fun. Wow, you're so blunt. Well, I'll see you later, Penny, I guess. I'll talk to other girls. You're with me now. Don't go with her, Kobe. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> she's going super safe. Super, you know. If you can talk to my man like that, you must have a death wish. Piano yeah, lunges forward. Oh, he stopped here. Nice. You're not going to sacrifice all of us. Us all for your petty jealousy. Penny will be brought back alive. Or Detra will have all our heads. You understand. Let me go. Said, do you understand? Titan's grip. Yes, now let me go, idiot. Baka! <laughs> That's a defense. Deanna, this won't work out. I'm sorry. I'm the one for you, and you know it. Stop that nonsense. That, the, this girl means nothing to you. She's garbage. Please don't cry. I can't handle it when girls cry, even when they try to knife my friend, apparently. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? Oh, but I have something to give you. I'm not really sure how, but this will save you. You're gonna need it. This probably sounds super weird, but I think this is your soul. Here, Kobe hands the end of the toy from his pocket. Well, what's this? An adult toy? Are you making fun of me? Sienna throws it onto the pavement in anger. Wob. Huh. Weird. Dead? Nani? He's not breathing, guys. Killed herself. Um, what just happened here? Yeah, just chucked her own soul and died. Ah! Kobe jelly lies Sienna's body on the ground and walks over to Ken's own. I was careless and she's trying to save her and I caused her death instead. Technically she killed herself while she was crying. It's not your fault, Kobe. She needed her soul and you tried to give it to her. I always act so rashly and it backfires. I only know knew her for a short time. Hold on a second, is there something I'm missing? Wasn't that a toy Johnson? <laughs> we haven't been completely honest with you guys, so put it directly, that keeps your souls in that form your secret dungeon. How demeaning. And I must say, Sienna wasn't always the Sienna you two knew. She was once a different girl. She changed the most drastically out of all of us over the years. I hope she can finally rest in peace. I refuse to let anyone else die. Penny, I promise to protect you from this day forward. Hey, shut up. What do you think this is? A wet your wedding? We're running out of time. Hey, mind if I see my soul? I retrieved Kenzo's soul from my pocket and handed We uh, don't really know how to put your soul in your back in your body. Maybe try putting it in your mouth? <laughs> no. This is a spell cast by death, but maybe the way to break it is to defeat her? Yeah, that must be it. Most movies are that way. They do? I haven't seen, seen a motion picture in decades. What? Just how old are you? I've been a young adult for longer than you can fathom. I've spent my days mourning my youth. Getting lost in the passage of time and hoping to wake up from this never-ending cage you call life. Whoa, I've always thought that's how old people feel, but I've never heard anyone put it into words. I'm not old, stop saying that. 
Guys, should we come up with a plan? Ah yes, let's confront Detra before the vampire awakens. Wait a minute, there's an actual vampire? Yes, the bellboy, it's pretty obvious, I thought you knew. I guess now that you mention it. We can do this, guys, good guys always win, enough talking, let's go. Perfect. No way this backfires, 0% chance. Uh, knock, knock, knock. Up, bro. Sai, who could it be coming? The room's nice. Why, hello there, Detra. I have something to discuss with you. May I come in? Well, what is it? I've been, I've seen suspicious activity. Our guests have been up to something, it seems. I saw one of them with a glowing object. What? You don't mean you confiscated it, right? Worry not. I have it right here. He reveals the hidden soul from his pocket. Very good. Now hand it to me so I can plan our next course of action. I will not. What did you just say to me? I'm outside the window, ready to make a surprise attack with my gun. Now how will I do this exactly? Aim for her head! Gunshot breaks the glass. The bullet causes the detriment hair to blow slightly as it races past her head into the wall behind me. I missed. What was that? She meets my eyes with through the window. Oh no, she's coming close. Come on, come on. I'm struggling to reload the gun. Ooh. Strangle. Dang it. Ooh, chopped her arm off, son. As I collapsed, coughing, Detra screams behind the broken window, her forearm fully dismembered. Everyone, stop. Nobody move unless you want Penny to die. Now, what's going on here? Well, I, we, don't, please don't kill her. I'll do the talking. You see, I recently found out how to free myself and everyone in the hotel, including you. Me, ha, don't make me laugh. You don't know the first thing about me. Think I want to be freed? I know more than you would like me to. I've been studying you for all these years. I had to know why you would serve this demon willingly. Wow, you clearly have the ability to leave. She provides you with special meals, Craig, Felt for a vampire. Uh, yes, yeah, so everybody knows I'm a vampire. But if I told you, you can steal Detra's abilities by sucking her blood. Eric is so surprised that he drops the gun, he bends down to reach it. Stay, I guess. While Tarek is leaning down, Kobe darts toward him, but Derek is faster. He shoots Kobe in the arm, causing him to drop the sword. I could kill you right now, but I know this will hurt you worse, grandson of Ferdinand. You were shot in the head by a vampire. Go back to the last choice. Nice. Run. I start to sprint away. I really hope I have a chance. Footsteps seem to multiply behind me. What? Dang, Tarek just got shanked, dog. No happy ending for him this time. Tarek shrivels the dust on the ground. That's kind of sad. This isn't fun. I want to leave. Yo, this Detra took my soul back and is using her powers. Go while, now while you can. Hurry. You're the man, Penny. Let's go. Prevented from running into the woods, when I try to jump ahead, I repel back towards the ground. As if there's a bounce house in the way, but I don't physically feel anything there. Penny, what is going on? How come we can't go further? I don't have the answer to everything. Oh, hey, Penny Kobe. Rayla, what are you doing out here? I think the better question is, what are you two doing in general? Are you trying to get screwed? Wait, do you know what we've been up to? I was on the way to my hideout when I heard a gunshot. Then I saw you two breaking into Detra's penthouse and stabbing the vampire. You got guts. I like that. Cool. Haha, yeah, that's us. Having guts and all. So what's this hideout you mentioned? Mind letting us in on it? Seems you need one, so I'll take you, but don't tell anyone. Go. Secret is safe with us. Swords on her. Girl nods and leads you along the edge of the woods. This doesn't seem good. Well, here we are. Treehouse. Wicked. Yup, if Detra ever find out, she'd destroy all my hard work. Whoa, you mean you build it all by yourself? My life is long and boring, what of it? Three houses are not, so, are so not boring, life's what you make of it. That must be a common saying beyond the wall. Wall? What wall? Kobe and I somehow had trouble leaving back there. We saw nothing in our way. The wall is a concentration of energy, no human completely made out of it. Made it out, but here at the treehouse you may have a shot, I can't believe. I can't leave because my soul's in the hotel, but I found a loophole for people who still have theirs. 
You see, the force field is imperfect because it's not a dome. If you get it high enough, you can make it over the top. This treehouse is just high enough that you can climb up and go down the other side. You two should take this opportunity to escape. Only misery befalls good people here at this hotel. Wait, we can't go without saving you and the others now. Now we know how bad it is here. We can't just leave, right, Penny? Why are you giving me questions? This place is not real. What? How could you say that after everything? Nobody's aware of its existence. You even said it when we saw it. It's like that it appeared out of nowhere. Demons, vampires, how could this possibly be real? All we know is a simulation. I killed a man here. Are you going to call that fake too? Say my trauma isn't real? Because I hope you know it'll- You killed two people. Hope you know it'll be with me for the rest of my life. I just don't know how what to believe anymore. Well, if you don't believe me or anything we've seen, I guess I'm not real either. Climb that ladder and go back to your real life. I don't need your help to be a hero. I I will need to get out of here, and I can't believe you don't feel the same. You're insane. You want to go back there. I'm climbing down another tree's branches. I lose sight of the treehouse behind me. When I reach the ground, I only see forest behind me. Was I really imagining it the whole time? I recognize the tree and begin to walk in the direction of what... Where I remember my house to be. Hey, wasn't there a road nearby? I remember Kobe and I taking a familiar path here. The more I walked, the less familiar the woods get. No, Hotel Toilet One was in, in the forest. This is supposed to be the only... A small patch of trees near the town. There should be roads all around it. There's nothing man-made as far as the eye can see. Confused, I turn around to backtrack. Then hear a close rustling noise. Stopping in my tracks, I must be imagining it. Stick snaps nearby. Hide. I jog over to a bush and dive between a tree, it and a tree. I try to control my breathing. A minute passes and I take a deep breath. I must be safe now. I gotta get back to the treehouse. Before I get up, I feel a hot breath over my sh near my right shoulder. Back by a mysterious being. Try again. Go back to last choice. Run. I turn around and sprint, hearing leaves cackle behind, crackle behind. I know not what. I now know now that I'm being pursued. If I can just get back to the tree, I might be able to make it back alive. Where where is it? I change direction, searching desperately. I can finally see. I grab it and start climbing. I think I made it. I breathe heavily and continue to climb back. Kobe's still waiting at the bottom. Oh hey Penny, you're back. Well, yeah, you were. Were you standing here the whole time? Rilla told me I can stay in the treehouse for the night, but it got stuffy in there, so I took a short walk. thought about what you said. I realized that you were scared. You need time to process and accept all of this. Still haven't really accepted it myself, but only because I don't think about it too much. Come so best in looking out for everyone that I haven't stopped to question anything, but you're right that we should. I was going to get you and apologize, but the fact that you're back means you already forgive me, doesn't it? Not quite. Well, that's not exactly the reason I'm back. This outside world has changed. I can't really explain it, but I couldn't leave the woods. It's like there wasn't a town anymore, and something chased me. What? You were trapped? That doesn't make any sense. There's definitely not a reasonable explanation I can think of for this. From in here, we see an illusion of the outside, and from there, it's like a switch world. Nice. Whoa, looks like we don't got a choice after all. We can't trust Detra to bring us back, and it seems Rilla and others don't know anything about the wall. What's behind the wall? There's a chance they could know. We should ask for something in the morning. Helps, okay. I don't know if I'll sleep tonight. Gosh, I hope Kim's says all right. We're tired to the treehouse where we drift off to sleep. Bushes paint, rustle paint in the distance. Oh, uh, just like re- what the crap? Okay. I don't know what just happened there. The house looks different. As I gaze upon Hotel Tutwin, a slow shiver falls up my spine. I was on a walk with my best friend Kobe, but something drew us in. We're stuck and cannot leave now. Yo, Penny, are you ready? For a soul coin lodge? Huh, yeah, I guess I have said that before standing here. Although it's so different now, before you were ignorant and curious, but now we have a quest for life or death. Yeah, funny how things escalate quickly to move forward. I suggest we go find 
Kenzo. I want to see how Kenzo is doing. I really hope Detra hasn't done anything to him after his betrayal last night. We owe it to him to try. Yeah, I agree. I need you to get needed to get you to safety, but we shouldn't have left him like that. Let's find him immediately. Boy, oh boy. I knock and Kenzo opens the door. Hey man, are you alright? We're sorry about before. Newcomers? Terribly sorry, but it seems I've forgotten our moment of acquaintance. May I ask your names again? What? What? You don't remember? He must have been brainwashed. Okay, I don't understand, but I think you should be on your way to breakfast. You will be taken care of at the hotel tower, I'm sure of it. Kenzo shoes us out of the office, shuts the door and locks it. Nice. Well, I've seen TV shows about amnesia and all that, but I never imagined it would hurt this bad to be forgotten by a friend. At least you're still here with me. I do have to go to the bathroom here. I'll be right back. Hold my sword. After handing me his sword, Kobe walks to the bathroom down the door a few feet away. Soon, the sound of high-heeled shoes rushing. Oh! That was jump scare. My, what a surprise. Look who's blatantly standing out here in the open after escaping for the night. I began to think I've been bested by mere humans for the first time, but I guess not. Your arm! Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! That's the power of souls for you. Ah, the wonders of harnessing human energy. Anyway, regardless of wherever you were able to hide last night, you will be punished. You've caused me a lot of trouble, you ugly little girl. What did you do to Kenzo? So you've discovered my little trick. You returned in the hope of finding answers, but instead... Now more heartbreaking questions. The answer is simple. I blocked out his memories of you by exploiting his traumatic experience. Have the power to control the fear of humans. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And the fair, I, I couldn't make you kill yourself right here now. No. No balls. In fact, I might just do that. You stabbed yourself with a sword. Nice. So we're all got it this far that we should see what she may know. Resourcefulness could definitely help us somehow if we can find her room. Maybe we should ask around in the dining hall. We just have to make sure not to run into Detra. Though I doubt she'd go to breakfast after losing her arm. True, plus I feel like I haven't eaten in a long time. Maybe food is a good idea. Same, dog. I'm hungry too. And tired. Hey, there she is. That was easy. We grab our plates and breakfast and sit down with Rilla. You shouldn't have come back. What? Glad to see you too, but anyway, it turns out we couldn't leave if we wanted to. What do you mean? There's nothing I could think of that would prevent you. Well, we were wondering if you might know, but based on what you said, just said, I'm guessing you don't after all. Best advice is to kill Detra. I don't know what'll happen, but she needs to die. Been thinking about that. But we don't know where to begin. We tried before, but failed. Takes a bite and swallows. Would it help if I help if I knew what Detra is? You know, tell us. She takes souls, has a realm of her own, and controls fear. She may must be a devil, so she won't die by default. Devil who controls fear. Well, I'm chewing my bite of chocolate chip pancake. I've got plans across the room. Detra is standing outside the dining hall. Doors chattering with guests. Guys, we should bail. I rise from the table and go out the balcony, taking the stairs down. Hmm. Where do you think you're going, you three? Your arm. Ha! Oh, that's the power of souls. Ah, oh, the wonders of harnessing human energy. How dare you, you monster? Make another move, you insect, and I will bring you to your knees with petrifying emotion. Mm, I... I'll trade you my soul. Toby, no. Trust me, Penny, I've got this. I wonder... My, what an interesting development. You're trading me your soul for mercy? Oh, a way to free everyone. Ho, ho, ho. How wonderful. You know, those things would come with catches and loopholes. The only thing I could think of that one is fearlessness. Make me fearless and you will have my soul. Are you sure that's such a good idea? Accept your terms. Setra speaks the Latin phrase, waves her arms, and points at Kobe. Fear may no longer hold you in his grasp. Now, for your end of the bargain, Detra motions her arms forward. What is going on here? My, the joys of a brand new soul. Detra holds a ball of light and molds it into a small lion-shaped toy. This is fitting, I suppose. 
Don't wish you hadn't done that. Your soul has given me your strength. How do you suppose you can beat me? My soul didn't give you my mad skills, dog. Toby charges forward this. Deatro swiftly man faces a long whip. She attempts to dodge Toby's first strike, but she, her shoulder gets nicked. She growls and jumps away. Deatro pulls back and launches her whip forward from a distance. Toby cries out, curling his body backwards from a hard strike on his back. He does a backward somersault, twisting his body and kicking Deatro in the torso, pushing her down and landing on top of her. He holds her sword above her face. Got you now, devil. You, you. Nobody beats me, especially not a human. Are those your last words? Have fun trying to get out of here after you kill me. This place can't exist without you. I'm glad I'll gladly end it all right now. If I go away with it, I'll be better than living in hell obeying your every command. You now you know you have to die. Toby descends his sword and ends it all. Toby and I suddenly appeared on the path outside of the hotel's vicinity. What just happened? A second ago, we weren't just in the graveyard. I, uh, slayed the devil. That's what happened, right? Sure. Hey, it's Kenzo. Hey, Kenzo over there. Well, uh, how do you know my name? Hey, I don't remember much, but I still remember you. Don't... You don't forget to forget about us. My head hurts. I was at a hotel, and this place is so different. You two seen a short, purple-haired girl. That's my sister. No, we haven't seen her. I'm sorry. Of course, she didn't make it. She was already gone. Hey, do we know you, sir? You seem familiar. What? Me, Rella. Seems our wishes have been undone. You wanted to be a girl? You couldn't tell it's her? Ha 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 ha. Oh, of course it is. I didn't mean to sound like I forgot you. Like, so forgot me. What I mean is, you can't just show up as a boy and expect me to instantly recognize you. What is your preferred pronoun? Bird. I was a boy named Gray. I wish to be a girl in exchange for my soul, and now I'm a boy again. Interesting. Be whichever gender you feel more like if you'd rather be a girl than be one. And no devil will take my soul? Nope, but I'd willingly defeat one again if it does. In that case, I'll go buy another dress. These pants are somewhat, somehow less freeing. I think I'll join you, because I'm been wearing the same suit for ages. Let's go see what the new world has to offer. Okay, goodbye for now, Penny and Kobe. Catch you later, guys. No. So, Penny, I guess we can go back to our normal lives. I mean, surely things won't be the same, but as normal as everything can be. Yeah, you and I are still friends, right? Of course, Penny, we've always been friends, and that's how we'll stay. No matter how many adventures we have, nothing will change. Although, I hope our next adventure won't be as perilous. Uh, I thought I was going to die back there. Ha ha. I agree with that. Say, you made me feel a different type of way about me. Well, to tell you the truth, I had a crush on you. I was always too scared to tell you. Ha ha. With this experience at Hotel Twelve, when opened my eyes, I feel like I'm not scared of anything anymore. We did it, Penny. We made it out alive, and I can finally say, I've outgrown my childish feelings about you. I used to like you. Oh. Because you were a girl that gave me the attention. I think if I were to fall in love, it would have been, it would have to be 100% true. Oh, I didn't get the best in. I was always afraid of rejection, but I'm not immature anymore. There's more to life than chasing a girl too close to be something more. Damn. It was really fun though, Penny, this adventure. Come on, I'll walk you home. Denied. Congratulations, this is the end. One of the ends. Hello game. Wait, the chef girl. Wait, you know her too? Yeah, I passed her on the way here. And you must have seen how cute she is, right? She doesn't seem... Does she seem a little crazy to you? Hey, you're not allowed to get jealous. You're the one who rejected me by leaving at the banquet hall. Fair, but that's irrelevant. She told a little girl that's fun to torture people. Well, maybe it can be. What? Wait, what? Uh, how about we get to that room over there? It looks pretty... Does that room say Kappa? No, it doesn't. It looks pretty promising. You mean the only other room down here? Grass, what an idea. Let's go. Okay, this is the same. Don't trap me again. Oh, burned. 
No, when I apologize back there, I meant to, I didn't do it because I wanted to. Detro is a complicated being who has a hold over everyone here. Well, this just got deep. We're wasting time with drama. Come on, Bob Co. Yeah, this is a bit too serious for me. Time to have some fun, Kobe. Whoever finds the gift get first gets to kill everyone else. Wait, what? Let's move on, shall we? Why are we in front of your office? Bye! That girl's just filled to the brim with ignorance. So I shouldn't be mad. Everyone has a different coping mechanism for a situation such as ours. Everything will work out. After we save your sister, we can work together to free you all. Quite refreshing to see confidence such as yours in progress, and we now have a goal because of you. And for that, I'm thankful. I will do everything in my power to make sure everything can work out for you too. Well, good. Let's head back to our meeting spot to see if any progress can be made. Good idea. <laughs> now we can be alone. Those weirdos can do whatever. Well, I hope nothing goes wrong. By the way, you were really forward back there. I don't know how to react. If you think of something to say or do, no matter how bad, you should always act on it. That's the only way things can get interesting around here. You'll figure it out. Hey, there's something under the stairs. Come look. Oh, you're right. Sienna reaches down to grab the object. It's a small rat box. This is definitely the gift everyone's been looking for. Good eye. Now we can go back and save Aniko, then everyone will have a chance of getting out of here. Huh? But I want to go on the roof. There's, That's where I was taking you. But why would we waste time if we can save everyone? A new couple needs their quality time, silly. Don't you want to know everything about me? So I want to know all about you. It'll be so romantic. The roof always is. Well, uh, maybe we should take it slow. Shouldn't we get back now? I'm sure they're wondering if we found it, and we have to, so... Come on. You mean you don't feel the same? You're even backing away from me. This isn't how you treat a girl. Dad. Sienna, wait. You can't run away now. We have something to do. Kobe runs after Sienna. Oh, God. Uh, I didn't see where she went. She ran away crying. What can I do anything right today? I guess I'll go meet the others and organize a search party. This, that is, if we still have time. You must think they're so clever. They must think I don't know anything right now. Knock, knock, knock. Who dares interrupt my contemplation time? Can I come in, Miss Detra? Uh-oh. Hi, uh, very well. It's been a while since you've come crying to me. What grounds your desperation? My boyfriend doesn't have time to spend with me. Make him one of us. Then we'll surely have all the time in the world together, Miss. Please, Miss Detra. You poor weak hearty kitten, the newcomer you hold so dear has no place in this hotel. It's best he and his friend die before releasing my property. It's a risk I'd rather not take. No, kill Penny if anyone. She's the one causing problems. Kobe can be a good servant. She's loyal and cute and can wield a sword. I don't think you understand the delicate balance I have in the place at this hotel. The more souls I add to the collection, the more likely I am to lose them all. It gets Increasingly difficult to find the right pieces to fit the ecosystem. Your crush doesn't make the cut. He will die tonight. Hey, what if I have something to give you? Surely you'll make a trade. Sienna pulls from her box pocket the gift box code of Cubby found. What? Where did you find that? Detra attempts to grab it, but her hand gets shot, preventing her from touching it. Oh, what a sensation. Looks like I've made you made things interesting. Huh? Why can't you take it? Ignorant child, you don't know what you're giving up. Once I fulfill my side of the bargain, I will be able to have that box. I can't, re cannot refuse your deal now. See me, Kobe will be mine for eternity. Oh, I can't wait. Now keep that object safe and to yourself, no matter what. You wouldn't want to unravel everything, would you? No, ma'am. Any luck with the search, ladies? I don't remember anything. Of that day, except for the desire to find you, give you your presence. No, I have no idea where I could have left it. We didn't have any luck either. I failed you, sister, but as long as I live, we'll continue my search. 
Surely one day I'll just recover what we lost. The least I can do to make it up to you. It's not your fault, brother. We haven't don't know what even happened. Oh my bad. Don't blame yourself. Why blame yourself, Kenzo? You weren't the moment she fell. If you were there, you would have protected her, right? You're a good brother. That really means a lot to me, Penny. Maybe you're right. If we could go back in time to save her, I wouldn't hesitate. It's time for me to go now. I have duties as a maid. I can't escape. I suggest you two turn to the office before your absence is discovered. Hey guys. What happened, Kobe? I lost Sienna and I made her cry. That girl is such a drama queen. I knew this would happen. I have to go find her. I think she has her gift, Aniko. We found it under the stairs, and you know Hotel Tutland better than I do, so can you help? So do you want to help me? Uh, yeah, let's go. I'd like to go help recover the gift, but I must escort you back to the office. So let's go. Razzers. My apologies, Pennies, but you have to remain here for the time being. I don't understand. All I've been trying to do is help you and your sister, but here you are handing me over to the devil. You can't just sit here and do nothing. That's not my intention. I told you I'd do everything in my power to see that you were safe. However, what power do you have exactly? Because last I knew, you were just a bank manager who traps people so they can die or spend eternity here in the dead end job. That's what I am now. Yeah, so get serious, dude. No, it wasn't always this way. Hotel Tutwin is rightfully mine. It all began in the time of World War II. Anyone of Japanese heritage in America was held there to suffer until we proved not to be spies. I was released in 1946. I was shown the dark side of humanity, preparing me for what was to come. My family had previously owned the Tutwin Hotel, but someone brought it, bought it while we were away. Having lost her livelihood, I worked hard for my family to earn the money to take it back. Spent about four years at a part-time job to save up. The new owners of Tutwin were struggling with upkeep and management, so I was able to regain it at a special deal. However, it was left in bad condition. All of her decoration and merchandise was gone. I had to start from scratch. My throat hurts. After I brought, bought it, I brought Aniko there to pick out a room. I figured she should have a place to play while I was watching her. And that's when it happened. I left her alone in the room during a meeting and later I found her. But my precious little sister had fallen and it was all my fault. Should have been there to save her. There were very few people who didn't blame me for what happened. Even my own parents blamed me. That should have found me at my weak point and used it to weasel her way into my life. She told me she could make me forget all about Aniko's death. That she could take my away my pain. I almost caved, but I wasn't ready. I engrossed myself in the renovations as a distraction from lo a loss and guilt. I gave Tutwin its beauty all by myself. The more I pushed Detra away, the more she persisted. I grew closer, I grew terrified of being alone. So I let her in. I postponed the Tutwin's opening date further and further out of fear of failing. It was I was convinced it was going under before I even tried. My life fell apart. Before long, I couldn't pay the bills or buy supplies, and one day Detra proposed a deal. She promised me that Tutwin would be successful under my supervision. I would have three meals every day, and Aniko would come back from the to me from the dead. All I had to do was to bump my soul to her. I agreed. Dong. If I knew it, Tutwin Hotel was made a mockery. Nothing turned out the way I thought, and I became subservient to a ridiculous sadist and her crazed pet vampire for all eternity. Interesting. So there you have it, the never ending conundrum of broken dreams that is my life. What a roller coaster. Tycoon. Maybe you're right that we should do something. It all seems hopeless to me, but you've proven that there are ways to bend the rules of this existence. What are rules? Goodness, nobody is that educated, uneducated. I'm not, it was I was it was a joke. Oh, I don't get it, but okay. So what do you suggest we do? Okay, so get this, she made a devil. Deal with you for your soul, right? She has to be a devil, and devil love the game. They can't turn out a challenge. I've never really thought of that, but yes. 
Foot Legends seems to say, what do you suggest? Challenge her to a game and win the hotel back, along with everyone's souls. Never cease to amaze me. What game we're going to challenge her to? Well, I'm pretty good at video games. What big games do you know? What's a video game? Oh, I forgot about how real old you really are. What are you good at? Hmm, let's see. I can do a mean crossword puzzle. Impressive, but how about something less boring and difficult? Golf, then? Uh, I think we're getting nowhere fast. How about dancing? My mom put me through tons of dust lessons. It's a little girl. I'm a bit rusty, but I excelled at it. Dancing. Us dancing together. I didn't pick you as a dancing type, honestly, but it works for me, I suppose. Great. Now I guess we wait for Detra to come to us since it's showdown, sundown. Well, she'll show up any minute, right? Yes, we shall await her arrival in this office. Perfect. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, you're both here. Well, let's get this judgment going. My judgment for this girl is death, so let's get it over with. Well, about that, Penny and I have a proper position to make. Oh, grand fun of this girl, have you? How interesting. Let's hear this proposition. We challenge you to a dance-off. To a game. Wait, what? Nobody's challenged me in years. Holy shit, things are finally getting interesting around here. What game? Dance-off. I knew it. <laughs> dance-off, pants-off. Nani? Very well, but I get to choose the stage. Dexter snaps her fingers. NASCAR? Welcome to hell, Vermin. This is where people who love competitive sports end up burning on the bleachers. Aw, oh, yeah, I don't dance, but... I'm black or grass among suffering sinners. Count me in. Wait, who's judging? The souls of the damned, of course. I love an audience. Once the contest ends, they will... Deliver the final binding verdict, so lesser creatures, what are your stakes? You win, you get both of our souls, but if we win, you return the hotel top one to me and release our friend. Wow, two old souls from a challenge? No. Nope. But the contest began. Oh, that's kind of romantic. Hey. We killed it, dog. Light appears from the trumpet sounds the wails of countless voices in pain, conveying the undeniable message that we are victorious. Enzo and I smile at each other. Hey, we did it. We did it, didn't we? This is rigged. Rigged, I say. Shut up, hag. We won and you lost. The tilt one belongs to me, vacating at once. Eric immediately leaves out the door. I cannot defy the conclusion of a game, but from now on, Kenzo, you must live with all the scars I gave you. All the empty years spent in the prison as a slave, all the death you've been a part of, and everything up to this point has been because of me. Even in the very beginning, the beginning where I pushed your sister off that roof. What? Detra vanishes, leaving me behind a heavy silence. She did what? She's gone, Kenzo. It's okay. Everything's okay now. Let's go find everyone else. Kenzo takes a deep breath and follows towards the office door. Somebody's standing outside. It's Aniko. She heard everything. I didn't commit suicide after all. I remember now. Aniko, I'm sorry you had to hear that. It's a good thing, brother. Don't you see now the, tr the truth's out? I know it wasn't my fault. I spent so long believing I did this to you. I see. I'm glad then. Uh-oh. Um, brother, do you see that? See what? She's ascending, Aniko. Glowing light right over there, up the hall. It's your time then. No, it can't be. I want to stay here with you. Don't be scared, Aniko. You can finally be at peace, and I'm proud to say now that I'll join you one day. Yeah, I suppose you will. Thank you, Penny. Aniko walks into the light. Oh no, that's sad. Oh, that's really sad. Gosh. Well, that's that. Hold Kenzo's hand. I'm really happy for her. It's gonna be okay. I reach my hand out and slowly grab Kenzo's hand. Penny. It's nearly 3 a.m. Maybe we should retire for the night. 
Oh, then maybe I should go home. I can probably leave the borders now that Detra's gone, right? No, I... Too dangerous for you to go alone. Here, take this. Just stay here with me just for the night. Well, you do have a point. All right, my room's this way. Kenzo leads you to his room. Well, here we are. Allow me to take your jacket. Or vestment, which, whatever it is you're wearing. I don't check them out why all them What is this awkward spinning? I knew all along in my gut that Detra was the one that killed my sister, but I chose to reject that thought. I couldn't add it to the list of things done to me by the person I was forced to serve. I mourned Annika a long time and all I had feeling now is contentment. She's finally released and a new era can begin. Hotel Tut Witness, no longer a home for despair and death, but for triumph and justice. The leadership of this hotel should belong to the one who saved it, so I have one request for you, Penny. On this hotel alongside me. Sure. I owe it all to you, Penny. You've made me so very glad. What the? Who are these people? So, who are your friends? You don't like really recognize them at all, they're Senna and Relia. Been looking for you and Kenzo everywhere, and you've been in bed together? It was very rude of you all to bark him like that. No, no, I didn't do it. It wasn't my idea. What even happened tonight? We can talk about this over breakfast, I'll start from the beginning. Three hours earlier. Walks through the lobby. Hee <laughs> hee, I can't wait for Kobe to be mine forever like Detra promised. Oh, speak of the devil, it's Kobe and Anika. Sienna, why did you run away before? I was so worried and you made me feel terrible. You worried about me? <laughs> it's okay, babe, I'm fine. Well, good then. You still have that gift, right? Hand it over. Hand it to Anika so she can say for sure it's the one. Can't do that. Why not? Because I remembered it's mine. Yeah, I made it for X Crush, so I threw it out. You won't, you won't be seeing that thing again. No, sorry, you're the only man in my life, man, life now. Oh no, so that wasn't even it. What are we going to do? Well, I don't mind if you try to help everyone else first. Don't you still have Cece's soul? You can give it to her now. I can't take that out in front of you, Eriko. Why not? Ahaha, uh -huh, no reason. Whatever, I'm going back to Relay though. Wait, you have my soul? Why didn't you tell me before? I guess because we were on a different mission and I needed to mentally prepare to show it to you. Toby reaches into his pocket and takes out the pink toy. Oh my babe, you're so naughty. I can't believe you just whipped that out in the hallway. We gonna do it right here? Well, what? Of course not. This is really your soul. Get it back into me then. What the tarnation is going on? What you guys talking about? Nothing, nothing at all. I have bad news. Detra is battling Kenzo Penny right now as we speak. What? How do you know? I never reveal my sources. Should we go help them? We can't. They're in another dimension. Then what should we do? She's probably gonna come for you next. You should hide. I'm not just gonna run away knowing my friend is in danger. We don't know where they went. We need for, to wait for Detra to come to us. It's the only chance we have at saving Penny. Is that all you care about, Kobe? Saving her? Yeah, I'm a hero. Why are you crying now? I should be the most important to you because I'm your girlfriend. Look at only at me. Sienna turns and runs away. Am I supposed to go after her? Well, you have some time to waste. There you are, Sienna. Why are you being so selfish? This is a time of crisis. You remember this place? This is where we became a couple. You're supposed to be there for me, and I'm supposed to be there for you. You, you call this being there for me, throwing tantrums out of jealousy? I am there for you. I'm the reason you're not going to die tonight. What are you talking about? I'm saving you, my love. I talked to Detra about this. And when she comes for you, she'll take your soul so you can be with me forever at Hotel Tutwin. She was gonna kill you if you didn't bargain with her. What? I'm definitely not doing that. 
You don't have a choice, dear. The wind makes a whooshing sound as a figure manifests out of nowhere. Alright, filthy mortals, we don't have much time, but I'd like to complete some deals. Not gonna happen, evil hag. You will submit to me or die. The Detra gestures her arm forward. Toby falls uncontrollably and cowers as a result of her fear manipulation power. Make a wish now, boy, and our deal is final. I, I. No, not just yet. Just a little longer. I'll honor my loss after this. I need those souls. The light takes Detra over, exiling her from the realm. See you, nerd. Um, what? Detra must have been beaten in her game. Her spell is broken. Fix pockets, your souls are gone. Is that why you guys look like that? Ah, uh, wait a second, Sienna, why did you trade to change your mind about killing me? Uh, the gift. Sienna pulls the box out of her pocket, but the light overtakes it and disappears. That was a soul. The person it belonged to must have passed on now. You were going to trade someone else's soul to keep me here? I, I'm sorry, this place changed me when I lost my soul, making me lose control. I'd take it all back if I could. Oh gosh, really? You're a different person now? Of course, idiot. Do either of us look like we did a few minutes ago? Regained our souls. Well, let's start over. I'd love to get to know the real you, the you with a soul inside, both of you. I feel, felt more like myself before, but I guess... Fine, I guess. I'm Raymond. I can't lie, you look the same, but with shorter hair and no dress. If it makes you happy, you can get another dress and still be Rella. Really, you don't think boys have to wear boys' clothes? 2019. So Sienna Friella made a deal to change genders, what did you wish for? I was really bad in the kitchen before Hotel Tut when I wanted to have the ability to cook for the boy I liked. When I realized it was all for nothing, that he would grow up and die without me, I laughed in insanity. Oh well, uh, that's sorry I asked, let's have breakfast. That's what happened on our end. Annika passed on that gift had must have been from her all along and I never got to see it. That gift may have disappeared because it held Annika's soul before she passed on. Sorry for your loss. I understand if you can't forgive me. The past is a past, we can only look forward from there. This hotel will change for the better. How did you guys defeat her? I love victory stories. An epic dance off in hell. Whoa, for real, what was it like? Was there fire? Was it a ritualistic dance? Huh? Nope, it was more romantic than that. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I may have. I have something to say. I truly hope we can all be friends now with Kobe. Even though my eyes are open to all the bad things I've done, that I would never do again. One thing hasn't changed. I still have feelings for you. Would you tr be willing to try again? can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah, I always thought you were cute. And maybe without all the crazy, we can make it work. But I'd like to take it real slow. <laughs> okay. Really, you do that? I'm so happy. Sienna was never good at acting, so she must be genuine. However, I still can't help feeling a twinge of jealousy. I shrug it off. Well, cheers to the happy couple. How about cheers to you, Kenzo? This is your hotel again. All the glasses at the table are raised. Cheers, everyone. Taps their glasses together and drinks the juice. Now, I don't know about you all, but I'm tired. I'd better get some rest if I'm going to work on opening the Totoin to the public. Here to join me, Penny? It's your hotel, too. You didn't tell us that, Penny. That's awesome. You guys should hurry. The sun's coming up. That takes Sienna on an early morning walk. I'd love to. I've never taken one of those. I'm going to sleep. After the winds of chaos blew away from my courage when the last droplet drove away the drain, you appeared with a sparkling waterfall of light. You are my savior to whom I owe my all. Kenzo, whatever his name is. This is the other happy ending. Okay. Well, I think we're almost done, dog. People, my friends. Lamp breaks and crashes down on that Trish shards of glass propelled about the room when all is quiet. Kobe and I climb through the window. Detra seems to have passed out underneath the broken light. Kobe walk, really walks around her. Enzo, the lamp got you too. No, certainly not. I'm totally unaffected, especially with my leg 
still stuck underneath Stampin'. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to get you too. I know, it just really hurts. Now help me get it off before I'll have to amputate. Also, I don't think that's just dead yet, so we better hurry. Hang in there, dude. Toby and I lean down. Tetra struggles to lift up her head, but our eyes meet. Oh, she's pissed. Oh god, she's awake. Let me grab my sword. Wait! Get Penny away from her first. Penny, don't look at her. Everything's okay. She's using her powers to make you afraid, but don't give them. Focus on my words. Oh no, Kobe backs away. Kobe, did you look at her? Oh god, I'm stuck. Can't handle this. I need to run away. Far away, but I can't. I'm paralyzed. Hold my gun to my head. I need to escape from the suffering. My body can't take it anymore. Bad end. Back to the last choice. <sighs> oh. Strangle, son. We'll come back. I think that's a good idea to at least take a breather and think of a good plan before rushing back into action. We should make sure our families aren't worried and grab anything else we may need. Heh, <laughs> you... Yeah, you always know how to keep calm and answer big questions rationally. We can definitely do this. Guess you made your decision. Just make sure to memorize the location from this hotel. It's invisible to outsiders that aren't being drawn in by alluring magic. Alright, thanks for all you. We'll be sure to return for you all. Toby and I climb the ladder and depart from the borders of a hotel tut one. As I climb down another tree's branches, I lose sight of the treehouse. I reach to the ground, look back, and only see forest. Come on, I'll walk you home. We start walking. I'd like to not think about what happened tonight, if that's alright with you. Yeah, I feel you there. Definitely some time myself. In fact, it took some restraint back there not to freak out on you. I'm glad you're here with me. Yeah, things would be different had you not been around at the hotel. Ah, uh, tell me about it. Wait, uh, wasn't there supposed to be a road around here? Now that you mention it, yeah. And I've been hearing nothing but wind moving the leaves. You'd think you'd hear traffic from somewhere. This is only a patch of trees in the town. Oh no, can't we go home? I thought we crossed the border wall. Close rustling noise stops me in my tracks. Penny, please tell me it was you. Uh, let's try hide, see if it kills us. Quick, get down. I dive in the tree and blows. Penny, no, that's a bad idea. We're already being stalked and watched. We should check it out, whatever it is. I think we should take them. You crazy? I'm scared. Don't worry, you got my mad sword skills on your side. Now, who's out there? Here's Russell, a wolf like monster. He walks slowly into view, growling angry. Uh, nice demon wolf. It pounces, but Kobe dodges and stabs it. He yelps slightly, but then turns around to try again. Kobe swiftly pulls out a gun and fires around the bullets. The thing collapses. Aw, Peter, please. Well, by the looks of it, we're not headed home after all, but don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. Let's head back, we need to get to the bottom of all this. Only you could be so brave and headstrong. Hopefully Rilla knows something. Again, back traveling. I doubt she would know we send us out here to die. How'd you get that gun anyway? I knew you had it, but I guess I never really asked. Oh, this old thing, just another one of my grandpa's weapon mods. It wasn't originally made as a handgun, but he thought it necessary for super, supernatural occurrences. Your mom know you have that thing? You couldn't have kept it ever since your grandpa's been away. Well, the thing is, they don't know I still have it. Looks like that you caught me. And it's okay to say he died in a mental hospital, and with all this going on, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up there too someday. Don't say that. This situation is different, right? You really want to know the story of the gun? Well, here it is. Backstory. In my early years, Grandpa and I were close. We're gonna find out he doesn't have a leg. As you know, and he told me a story about... He'd tell me story after story about his past. To everyone else, they were fictional stories he made up to entertain me, but to me, they were very real. In his story, he was a brave adventurer who heard an Anne, who fought vampires and demons befriending ghosts and immortals along the way. Everything was fine and dandy until one day, gave me a gift. In this moment it rang true that his stories were serious. He created the gun for a purpose. He thought it necessary for me to have it to protect myself and pass on his legacy. The vampire hunter before his inevitable death. Of course everything went downhill from there. No sane person would give a gun to a small 
child. He was taken away by authorities and placed in a mental institution where he died three years later. I was the only one to believe his every word, and that gun was all I had left of him. Her mom took it away. I stole it back, hid it, and never told her since. She assumed it was taken by someone else. This then, the older I got, the more I started to think he was actually crazy, but he was right all along. Vampire tricked him and bit off his leg. He had to get a prosthetic. Everyone thinks he was attacked by a wolf and that his mind blocked the memory because he was still a kid. Imagine losing a limb and nobody believing the reason. These evil things do exist and I'm here to put an end to him just as he attended. I got your back. I save? Fucking course not. I got your back. Grandfather will want you to fix the situation, and I'll be right there supporting you. Together, we can save the innocent people of the hotel. We'll do whatever it takes, and this will all be worth it. No regrets. Penny. Mooch. Jumps back. I don't know what came over me just now. Huh? Sorry if I crossed the line. Oh, wait. Don't respond. I want to save this feeling. And there I go, being awkward again. You were being awkward when you destroyed that first monster and jammed your tongue down my throat. Hey, I'm a human being. It's complicated. I'm complicated. Anyway, I think we both deserve some rest. So let's go back to the tree where we came from. Come back up to the As I lay on the wood floor, I could still feel his kiss lingering on my lips. To the beginning. Kinda. To the loop around, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna get the good ending with him this time. I think that's what I was missing from the good ending with him. Something drew us in. We can't stuck and cannot leave now. Yeah, let's go. Well, I'm having some deja vu. Full circle much? Although it's different now, before we were ignorant and curious about. Move forward, I suggest we find Rella. This is the same, so I'm just gonna do that part. Okay, this is where he screws her up. Get dunked on, son! Hey, I don't remember much, but I still remember you. Don't forget, get to forget us. Oh, we already did this part too. New ending. So, Penny, I guess we can go back to our normal lives. I mean, surely things won't be the same, but almost can be. Everything can be. Yeah, you and I are still friends, right? We're more than friends. Actually, Penny, there's something I have to ask you. You see, all this time we've been friends, I was worried it was too late or too risky to ask for anything more. But this journey with you has given me the courage to finally say I love you. So will you go uh, out to dinner with me later as a date? I'd love to. You will? Wow, to be honest, I didn't think you'd say yes. But this is a happy day. So see you tonight, Penny. I can't, really can't wait. The first taste of freedom, the time spent in the devil's dimension faded in to the distance as the seizures changed. His warm hands as those of a hero as well as a killer, yet his selfishness had left no good mouth. And so this lifelong friendship continues in something words produced by I guess that was a true end. Okay. I wanna see one more ending. I just wanna see what happens. And then I'm I'm satisfied. Derek wasn't evil. What? How could you say that? He held you at gunpoint and almost shot you. Feel him shaking, he was scared. Detra has a hold of everyone at the tilt one. It makes you think Tarek was any different. He could have had reasons for what he was doing. He was an aggressive, manipulative vampire who served to die. I can't believe you right now. Well, I guess we both have opinions, and now that we won't ever know him, we should just drop it. There's nothing we can do. Drop it. I can't just drop it. 
Sounds like you're blaming me for killing him. Vampire or not, I would have done it for you. All I ask is for you not to change how you think of me. Please don't see me as a killer. Toby, I don't blame you at all. I just wish nobody has to die, and if people are dying and suffering because of Detro, we have no choice, other choice but to kill. You're right, we'll end it all tomorrow. But for now, I think we both need some major rate. Best. Come on, the treehouse is there. Come back to hell. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. That's my full playthrough. I'm going to try to edit all these endings together. I think we got most of them, if not all the good endings. I'm pretty sure we got all the good endings, at least. I don't know if we got all the bad endings, but I think we got a good deal of them. Thanks for watching, as always. If you could, please like and subscribe. And I actually did enjoy this game. It's actually pretty good for a visual novel. It was, like, entertaining. It kept my interest, and I'm tired. I'm, like, super tired. I've not slept for a long time, but this game kept my interest. Even though, like, reading out loud is rough. <laughs> that was my main complaint, but that was just on me for doing that. But yeah, it was a good game. I actually thought it was actually pretty good for the visual novel. But yeah. Bye!